right, so we're gonna do uh, Act Racer for Hardcore Friday. Uh, all I gotta say is I've wanted to do Act Racer for a very long time, and um, yeah, it's it's a phenomenal game, really. And uh, it's a very long game. It is a uh, city management slash um, side-scrolling platform action thing. It's it's really two genres in one, and it's a phenomenal game that I uh, I absolutely love. And we're gonna be playing it all tonight, and uh, you know. I can be good. So, yes. Without further ado, everybody, let us go play this. But uh, yeah, I like Act Racer a hell of a lot. Um, how ironic, hell, since you're playing as God. But uh, this was made by Enix before Square Enix. You know, this was at the height of the shit. Really, this came out in I believe '91. I believe. I think it might have came out in Europe a little later, but uh, a lot of people really, uh, really like Act Racer. Uh, it's got some really great music in it as well, but it's really memorable because of the um, the city management, civilization sort of stuff. But what's funny too is that the sequel to this uh, dropped that whole thing, and not not a lot of people think that uh, the the sequel is any good. Apparently, but I don't know. I think the sequel is good too, but the first one is the greatest in my opinion. So, uh, yes, indeed. Uh, Alright, let's see here. Uh, yes, I know I know the stream is not on a Friday, because I promised this yesterday. But I did such a long stream that I'm now we're back, and like, you know. Uh, I was gonna do Act Racer for the Mode 7 thing we did yesterday, but, um, you know, I figured, you know, if I start showing that off, I immediately have to segue into the Harker Friday segment out of this, so, um, you know, hey, whatever. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It's all it's all a blur now. <laughs> all right, let me go set this up. Um, I did set up the controller though, but I always these games are everywhere on my computer, really. And I did survive the American snack special from yesterday, you know. And uh, oh yeah, by the way, happy Easter, everybody! Funny we do Act Racer on Easter because uh, something with religion and uh, God games. Ah. I guess it's the closest thing I can associate it with, you know. Easter is tomorrow. Well, that <laughs> happy egg. Well, I appreciate that. Thanks. How nice. All right, let me get Act Racer on the screen here. And here we go. All right, check this out. Engage game. All right. Game Senta CX on. Sorry. Different thing. Kacho did play uh, Act Racer, though. I guess that's a vague collection or, you know, whatever you want to call it. But uh, Joel on. <laughs> God shoes on. All right. Before we do anything, I want to make sure that everything is fine here. For some reason, I did not have the music running. I guess I did a SNES Madness and I shut the music off for some damn meme or reason or whatever. But let's do that again because the music is phenomenal in this, really. The ensemble of farts have come to play me a toot. Wow. It's amazing. All right. Well, here we go. Act race, everybody. Oh! God, it scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Immediately. Alright, there we go. Let me just do this as well. And we should be ready to go. Alright, let's do this. The Master's name. Well, guys, what is what is God's name? What? No, no cash money symbol on this one? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you play this on the SNES maps? Oh, I did for like a brief minute, but this is the the whole game. So, uh, dog, <laughs> Japaleno, Todd. <laughs> uh, fuck it. God, you know what? Why not? <laughs> Will it fit? Nearly. 
God Howard. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Are you awake, Sir God Howard? I am the angel sent to help you recover your lost strength. Now all types of monsters are in total control of the earth. This all came about because of a demon they call Tanzra. The one who sealed your power. In order to restore your power, you will need to rekindle the people's faith in you. But first, let us go down to the earth and destroy all monsters that we may establish a peaceful land for our people to dwell in. Tarzan! Okay, no, for real though, this this is Act Racer. It kicks ass. Um, it is so good. Uh, I would say, I mean, I, I complain a lot about the games that I really like, but I only do that out of, like, habit of... I like something, and I just, you know, I kind of need to pick at shit, but... Uh, yeah, um, it is a city simulator civilization thing, and it is also an action game. It is, and it blends together really well. Like they, they really somehow made this work. But uh, I'm sure there's a lot of people that have never seen this game before. There's some people in here that have probably beaten this a hundred times. I beat it a couple times, and but it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be uh, a long stream, I reckon, because uh, there's a lot of just bullshit that I have to do in order to actually beat this. But we also need to do this on fast speed because, um, yeah, I'm not a big fan of scrolling text when there's a lot of it, so... Anyway, let's do this. So this is Fillmore, where we start. I'm gonna observe the people. Sir God Howard, no one yet inhabits this area. Oh, yeah, we gotta destroy them first, right? There we go. Sir God Howard, if you destroy all monsters in this land, people will be able to live here again. Sir God Howard, are you ready? Yeah. May luck be with you. Now... I did the Mode 7 stream yesterday, and this would have looked even better in Mode 7, but... Looks great, really. Here it comes. Oh, uh, 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 what, what, what? Okay, I, I am timed on this, but... Alright, but anyway, no, Act Race's music is incredible, but... There's no... Like, the the first stage is the best in this. Um, there are other bops in this, but th this one is, is really the best. But, um... Yeah, th th this game gives you a fall, false illusion of just like, oh, it's just... Side-scrolling uh, goodness. No, there's a little bit more to this. There's a lot more to this, in fact, but uh, still. I love the environment here, like, I am God, and I'm just going around in a forest, like, kicking nature's ass. <laughs> and there's, like, nuclear wasps, and there's, um, monkeys, and birds. I never really got this, though, because if, if I am, like, I don't know, the Jehovah of, of this land, why, why do, can I only limit myself to, like, becoming this avatar, you know? You can, however, strike down things with lightning and shit and earthquakes in the game, but it just feels a little underwhelming at times, you know? You're just like a guy, you know? I guess power levels, I don't know what you want to call it, but uh, I just get a little tricky. So there's these vines on the floor there that you don't want to fuck around with. You start off with a little health in this. You get more health the more you play, and the more you take care of your... Um, the more you can take care of your peoples. There's no peoples at the moment, but uh, the more you take care of them, uh, they're gonna give you shit, and that you want that. Oh, fuck. Here's this asshole that is cur- I'm inside of him! Okay, listen. I might be able to do this on my first try. I, I have not warmed up. Oh, fuck. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> first try! Now- there's one little funny thing about Act Racer. Um, a lot of bosses comes down to you have more health than them, and you. It's rock and sock and robots. I say that a lot on stream, but it, really, Fact Racer, there's a lot of strategies. Just like. You whack them, you know. But, uh. Yeah, there we go. Here's the city civ civilization stuff. People soon. Alright, now, we're gonna get lost in this for a while. 
Sir God Howard, Fillmore, it may become a land where people can live in peace. Our first duty is to protect our people from any monsters. I will do as you instruct, please rid the land of these monsters with my arrows. There are several mysterious circles on the ground which represent monsters' lairs. If you direct the people correctly, they will be able to seal the lairs. You will discover the monsters that controls this land, and if destroyed, control, control of the land's destiny will return to the people. Alright, my master, let us work towards peace. Alright, Sir God Howard, I know it's unexpected, but our people in Fillmore have something to tell you. My master, <laughs> I'm not doing any voices for this. <laughs> we are having a difficult time building homes because of many bushes. Please burn the bushes and, and guide us as we begin to build our roads. Alright, now, here we go. There is... There, it's not a... a, a t oh wait, I gotta burn this out first. Uh, there is... Stuff we gotta do here. But, uh, make no mistake, the, the city building shit is not as deep as, say, SimCity. Uh, but this is gonna piss you off if you play Act Racer. You have these demons that come around and, like, snatch your people up. Um... You need to get, take care of this shit. Alright. And the more you take care of people in the cities, the more health you'll have. Oh yeah, I need more MP for this. By the way, look at the angel's little butt. <laughs> they drew out a butt for him. <laughs> Angel farts. Alright, shit. You gotta be careful though, if, if these uh, demons... Get too much, you, you can't be able to, you can't do anything. You can't fire arrows, you can't do anything. So, um, yeah. Alright, now I have a little bit more SP. We're gonna do some more lightning, because we, we want, but the people needs me to burn down the bushes and stuff. Alright. Now, in order to stop these, I need to actually steer my people towards the, uh, the place, like this. So, uh, and now we just kind of wait. Uh, there's a little bit of waiting in this game. Which is fine, because, you know, I can be a dickhead on stream and just tell stories in the meantime. But, uh, yeah, here they come. Uh, I, I like some city civil civilization games. Uh, I like Populous a lot. Um, uh, in fact, I like the, uh, the Populous game for PC that came out in 98. What's it called? Populous... De Destiny Populous, whatever. The one with the tribe people or whatever, with magic. That's my favorite Populous game, and I know that's like not the best one, but I really like that one. The Populous The Beginning, uh, that one is awesome. And, you know, of course I like, uh, you know, SimCity, and I like um, Dwarf Fortress a lot, but it's not kind of like that game, you know? It's a very different kind of game, but whatever. Sir God Howard, I know it's unexpected, but our people in Fillmore have something to tell you. Our master, we finally mastered the skill of hunting animals. We now have enough confidence to fight monsters. Please lead us to the monsters' lairs. Good, good voice. God Howard, bless us with Skyrim. <sighs> All right, Sir God Howard, our people have sealed the monsters' lair without our help. It appears something has someone has found something in the monsters' lair. My well, master, we have found a strange statue. We present this to you as an offering. Please accept it. Uh, I was gonna say too, there is... I've always wanted to stream black and white, but there's a... Black and white 2, I believe, is broken. Um, it's just a real big shame because that game is, is so fun up until one mission. I wanted to do a, uh, a peaceful creature, a com completely peaceful creature. And at some point, there's a map that requires you to kill. You need to kill and be destructive in one level, or else it takes too fucking long. So, um, you know, I, I always get stuck on that part. It's like a moral uh, decision, and they want you to do it. Um, so it, it sucks, but anyway, let's take this offering. It's a bomb! <laughs> this is all we have for this year. Thank you for accepting our humble offering, my master. Thanks for giving me a bomb! A goddamn C4. <laughs> Alright, so we want to early start getting the monsters layer sealed up because um, these monsters, they will try to, uh, you know, abduct people and shit. And, you know, less people means less HP for me. 
My master, recently strange things have been happening to me. Many of my thoughts actually come to life in the real world. If these powers are real, I feel the presence of something wholly radiating from the woods east of here. It's really Easter, guys! Do the bat monsters eventually stop spawning if you kill enough of them? Actually, they do, but it takes such a long time, they might as well not even put that in the game. Like, there's... This counts as one kill, right? And each monster's layer has like 900. So you're gonna be there for like... Hours doing this, and it's like, what what the fuck, you know? Anyway, sure God Howard, I know it's unexpected, but our people in this film have something to tell you. Ooh. My master! A fire has broke out at a home in the north. Please send rain to quench the fire! Well, you didn't even say please. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Fastest rain! It looks as though the fire has been put out. People are so silly, they always think their way is right. They cause the fire and then beg you to help them extinguish it. Yeah, I know, let's extinguish them! <sighs> but that's the one trait I so much adore. What do you think? There are no- Oh! No! My peoples! You see what I mean? They nearly took my peoples. No, 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 no. There we go. Oh, thank you so much, Cyril. Appreciate that. Alright. So, there's a funny thing in this game that later um, levels is gonna require you to do. Uh, you, you can't really be evil in this. I mean, I guess you could. No, you can be evil in this, but there's no, no real benefit to it. It's not like the people feel that they are under the presence of an angry god. But, you see these buildings? At some point, there's gonna be like a... Oh, look at that. Now your level is 02, or 2, and your HP are 09. Okay, I wanted to say this. I'm gonna talk. Um, these buildings that are currently being built, like these little, like, chicken huts, <laughs> um, they're gonna stay the same. And the more people we have, the more advanced it's gonna get. And soon there's gonna be like these caveman huts, and there's gonna be these mansions. So what you need to do is cast down an earthquake to make people demolish their own shit so they can redo everything. And people die, but they won't do it otherwise you like fucking punish them for like building bad architecture. Like, it's, it's fucked up. And I don't wanna do that too, cause it's like, the game wants you to do it, but you know, like, fuck. Oh, by the way, your level will increase again when you, the total population becomes 200. You know. Doggy. There's a lot of like, oh, oh shit, fuck you. Dragon. Okay, they're gonna go do this now. So the bomb we just got from the people that they just found some bomb in some damn tree. Um, that's gonna allow us to like, get rid of the monsters on screen. It's not really effective though. Um, and you would you would assume you could just like go down into one of these monster layers and just use the bomb there, but no, it doesn't work like that, unfortunately. So, all right. Anyway, now now they've done this, we need to go and seal the other thing. There we go, doggy. But yeah, each one of these levels has these set objectives and things happening. Um. This one is really easy, but eventually in the game, they- Oh, fuck! Uh, <laughs> eventually there's gonna be plagues, there's gonna be, uh, a little boy called Teddy, who goes around and, like, uh, I forget what, what the hell he does, but, uh, he's a dumbass, and you gotta rescue him. Alright, Jesus, fuck, stop. Get him! Seal it up! Alright. There we go. I love this. Look at this. Glue it shut. Now we're talking. Alright, people have sealed the monster's lair without our help. Yeah, well, I don't know. Alright, the civilization has improved. Now some of these huts are gonna improve slightly. And I said that, that these don't change, but some do. But some remain... Shit hot forever. And you need to, uh... Correct that, essentially. It's also kind of weird in this game that, that it's it's not... Oh, fuck you! It's not straight-up caveman stuff. They're kind of already a little civilized, you know? Alright, what do you got to tell me? My master! 
I feel the presence of magic power radiating from under the big rock below the principal southeast of here. Something may be buried there. My master, please use your power for lightning to destroy this rock. Neat. All right, now this is the rock they're talking about. It's really subtle, in fact, but uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> I think this might be it. Too. Sir God Howard, destroying that big rock below it, the precipice, precipice, has re revealed something that may be very useful. Your people have something to say. Our master medic token was found near the precipice. Precipice. A medic token was found near the piss to the southeast of here. We presented to you as an offering. Please accept it. Wow, that's amazing. Precipice. His magical fire. Absolutely, I'll take it. The lightning bolt you sent to smash that huge rock. You found a magical fire spell underneath the rock. The spell must belong to you, my master. Please accept it as an offering. So when I saw Offering when I first played Act Race, I'm like, Oh, sweet blood sacrifice! They're all gonna like, you know... They're all gonna suck up to me and like, you know... Kill each other for it, but uh, no, it's more so that, that they find little like... Goodies. Alright. Alright, well, now that we've done this and they're working on that... Uh... I'm stop stealing my people soon. I think that... I need to seal this one and then we're gonna do the boss soon. The SNES version of Bible Adventures is way better than the NES one I see. <laughs> oh, shush. You smell of precipice. <laughs> Alright. They are a little annoying, but they are nowhere near as annoying. Later on in the later levels, you have these huge murder fucker skulls that hover around like UFOs, and they blast your entire houses. They're so annoying. Oh god, they're annoying. All right, now that I've done this, we're gonna start building towards. You want to get as much space as possible as you're doing this. Wherever the, you put the angel, they're gonna kind of emulate that path I just took. Fuck off! You can't get stronger weapons and stuff like that with the archangel, not archangel, what the angel, whatever you want to call it. Um, but they're kind of just power upy in a way. They're not really, you know, permanent. However, your strength and stuff like that, when you're actually in the combat sections, is quite different. For example, the way I'm building everything here, um, the more shit I have, the more people I have, as you saw, the more HP. And you really need a lot of HP in this game, because towards the end, there's a huge boss rush. And they don't refill your health. So, just do this a lot, and you'll, you'll be fine, you know. This is gonna take more time, of course, but I figured... This is not a speedrun, for fact. This is just me playing the game, so, you know. Alright. We have developed a fishing trade here in Fillmore. A few days ago, a fisherman repairing his boat along the seashore found an unusual scroll. We present this to you as an offering. Please accept it. You fight Satan, right? Okay, for... For... For all intents and purposes, uh... You fight Satan at the end, essentially. You know. I'll need magic. Uh, the sequel to Act Racer has Tazran or whatever. I forget what it is, but it f works both as a sequel and a prequel. Sort of like Bayonetta 2. Right. But could you believe that Act Racer 2 took this shit out? Because uh, I don't know why, but I guess Enix thought this is boring and bad. Fuck it. I love this. This is the best part of this game, honestly. Um, so cool. So cool, but they said no. We don't like that. They goofed. All right, this is the fishing trade thing. That's up. This is down here, in fact. <laughs> I like that they have one boat. Some dumbass boat. All right. The platform fighter segments are good, but this is good too. Yeah, they're both very good. They just blend together, you know. All right, let's see what you guys found in the monsters layer. Some strange bow and some arrows. We present this to you. Well, look at that. That is what I was talking about. With the thing I just got, I can now shoot demons harder. <laughs> Thank you, Master. We have acquired a new skill and can now build bridges. Wow! With a way to cross the river, we can build homes over there. <laughs> wow. 
That's amazing! Now, I forget. Is that an actual skill I need to, like... Uh, oh, there we go. Strength of Angel and Bridge. I'll take this, too. Yeah, the people are a little dumb in this game, but I love them. I'm gonna make a path here, and they're gonna cross over here so they can seal the final monster's lair. This are extreme- Oh, fuck, no! Asshole! Oh! Goddamn... Bad dragon. Um, there's a- there's a part in this where you- Well, it's actually the next level, I believe. It's a place called Blood Pool, and it is... A blood ocean. <sighs> Alright. Let's see here. Is there any space I haven't occupied yet? Uh, well, I can actually burn some of these trees down, I believe, and I can get a little more action going, but, uh, yeah. This theme is going to haunt my dreams. Well, well, good thing it's so pleasant, then. I love, I love ambient holy music. In fact, you know, the soundtrack sounds a little bit like Harvest Moon. Just a little bit. It's got that sort of you know enthusiastic corn music. You know what I mean? Oh fuck you! All right, there we go. You better quit that shit. You better quit that shit. Come on. The blue dragons are quite annoying, but they are nowhere near as annoying as the skull as I was talking about. The the bosses in this is super awesome too. Um. They're very Dark Souls-y, and I don't want to compare this game to Dark Souls, because Dark Souls, like, you know, drew a lot of influence from old-school, you know, side-scrollers and shit like that, but, um... They're very... anything goes. Like, it's just a bunch of crazy, crazy monsters everywhere. There's, there's one where you fight a giant, like, pharaoh head. Um... Uh, there's one where you fight a giant flaming wheel. And the boss that comes up here is a giant minotaur, so it's just a bunch of things. There's no real theme, um, but it's great. It's great. It's really, really fun. And uh, the end of the game, you fight uh, the collective society of Satans. That's right. There's multiple Satans in the world, and we gotta, we gotta kill them. All right. That's right. I know it's unexpected. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Come, my master, since the last lair has been sealed, something strange has been happening to me. I have the same nightmare every night. In my nightmare, the gruesome monster Minotaurus appears through a big hole to the southeast. He says he will curse the people with death. Because of my ability to see into the future, I feel as I'm already afflicted by the monster's curse. Please, my master, go down into the ground and destroy this gruesome monster before something terrible happens. All right. You see what I mean with the the old chicken huts over here? Listen, I need to at some point destroy my own civilization for well, you know, better houses. Stupid. All right. Well, tell you what. Before we go ahead, let me. Oh, look at that! They made a little uh, social club. All right. So they they're always doing things. Also, I believe there's a strategy to this. You should build as little bridges as possible in this, because, um... Bridges count as... ...resources for the city, so they'll build less if there's more. There's some... ...thing about that, you know? God commits insurance fraud. <laughs> yes. Watch out, doggy! Doggy, no! Watch out! Actually, I think, I think at some point... The uh, the game stops unless you finish your your objective. But I, oh, what, yo, dog is vanished. Okay, well, there he is. He was hiding. It was a holy dog. God spelled backwards. All right. Well, now that they're done with this, town is under construction. There we go. Let's burn the other trees, too, because I do have a little bit of magic power, so... There we go. But this this game is really fantastic, and, um... Shit, I didn't want to do that, but whatever. Um, this game is really fantastic, and it is... It often tops Super Nintendo best games lists, and there's a reason why. It's, it's... 
I kind of know this game already, but it's always fun to go back to because of this stuff. And it's never boring, too. You would assume that Act Racer is kind of like, oh shit, more city civilization building crap. No, it's not like that, man. It's it's always a, a treat. Alright, well, they're gonna do this, and I think I've filled up all the spaces. Burn everything! Robotrek was my Enix crack then. Well, I I, I know about Robotrek. Um, and I played a Japanese version of it um, when I was like nine years old on a Super Nintendo CD, which is the same CD my brother gave me with a bunch of like anime porn on it. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, you all know that story. You know, Jesus. And it's so it's so funny too, because whenever I do SNES Madness, there's these ROMs of anime porn in the folder. And I remember him just telling me, just don't play too many games. I'm like, what do you mean? Is it don't play too many games on there? It's bad games on there. Alright, but anyway, now that they're done with this, uh let's see here. Now again, you want to destroy some of these less, lesser good houses because there's going to be more people living in it if they're quote unquote upgraded because they won't upgrade themselves at times. So I need to assen essentially uh, cast a giant fucking earthquake, but I'm not going to do that because I'm not an asshole god. Speaking of asshole, doesn't this look like like a butt blowing out a fart? Welcome to a Joel stream where we're humor 2.0. All right, but anyway, now that we're done this, let's see here. I at 700. Okay, tell you what, I'm gonna be a little mean. Just, just, a, just a little bit. Just. just shh, 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 shh. It's okay. Oh, whoops! Whoa, that was crazy! Well, so someone's been masturbating inside the houses. God don't like that. I heard these people, uh, they pick their noses. The wrath of God has been invoked! What's that? You like Devil May Cry too? No! Not into the pit! It burns! Someone didn't buy Skyrim! I hear there's Norwegians in town! See, now, now they're building uh, big dick houses, and you need that, because if you want to level up, you need your, uh, need your shit. It'll take them a little extra while to do this, but, uh, you know. You, you guys hurry up, please. Thanks. Hey Joel, have you played Risk of Rain 2? It's pretty bitchin'. Uh, no, I have not, but I, I know that's a pretty pretty cool game, huh? Um, I didn't. I I know. I think Rev played the the original Risk of Rain, and that looked pretty good. But uh, you know, now you will build good houses. You see, you see what I mean? Now I can reach 700 population in the top right corner. Uh, when it's 700, I level up in HP, which you need for the boss, so... You know, but it's a really dumb system, you know? Why can't they just do this themselves? Alright, just give me one more. Speaking of house building, Dwarf Fortress stream when? Uh, I would say... Uh, possibly... Possibly... Very soon. Uh, yeah, we should build, uh, burn these trees, too. Burn nature. It'll take them a while, of course, but, uh... I totally forgot about these. Alright. There we go. Now, if you were a speedrun or whatever, you would have pr pretty much just skipped this entire section, because... If you're pro at this, you don't need to build towns and shit like this, but... I just like to do this, because it's fun, man. Did they, did they not finish this? What the hell's going on with these guys? Build that shit! Burn nature. Fun? You have fun playing video games? 
I swear to God, I sound like I'm like 60 when I do that voice. I don't know how I do this. Okay, come on. Come on. Hurry up. God's getting pissed. God's getting angry. You know, it's very close to 666. You know what? If you guys won't do it, I will do it. I'll just go into this, this monster and I'll destroy him without the power, you know? Uh, fine. They're being a little annoying now. Uh, let's return to my palace here. First of all, we need to select the magic, which is the magical fire, which we just got from the people. Snooping as usual, I see! Alright. And now it is time to fight some monsters. Yeah, could you believe it? We were just playing a game where we, uh, we were side-scrolling and stuff. Into the anus of the world! Promotion! Oh, I forgot how farty this place is. Alright, so now we're fighting... <laughs> now we are fighting skulls. Bat skulls. Okay, so some of these levels are... Non-linear. Um... But they're pretty straightforward. In oh, goblin! Goblin. There's some really cute and unique character designs um, in uh, in this game. A little like dumb skull shit that I love. They kind of move a little bit like Medusa heads. These guys. Goblin! 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 Ah! Okay, I'm getting absolutely destroyed here. Okay, God, God needs to take take a step back here. Jesus Christ! Goblin! All right, that sucked. I'm reserving my my magical energy for for the boss because um, the game is a little stingy with um, spells. But funnily enough, the game's best uh, thing is actually uh, coming up. There's a lot of spells in this game, but none of them are like as good as this one star blast or whatever you want to call it. Fuck. This place is kind of unique. There's these, like, centipedes? And then you have skulls. The game is quite bizarre at times, and I, I kind of like that. God damn it. It's a bit of a Castlevania 4 aesthetic to this, and... Uh, yeah, I like that game a lot, so... A lot of finicky jumps and shit like that. What? This game is also very, like, carefully, uh, planned to frustrate you. Like any Super Nintendo game. Oh, see what I mean? Fuck, was there stuff up there that I could have gotten? Oh, well, you know what? I don't know about carefully frustrating, because I just... Just aced that. Again, there's a lot of variation in the... Oh, shit. The actual levels. No level looks alike. So... Yeah, you get a lot of environmental changes and stuff like that, which is great. Because sort of you get through the the entire world. You get sort of sort of like a, a an eastern place, you get, you know, European, you know, building things and you got everything in between. Goblin. Okay. I can I make this jump? Yes, I can. Goblin. All right. Bland ass EU buildings. <laughs> Okay. Maybe it's a little Castlevania because of the uh, the dude's throwing. Oh my god! It's him. School lizard because of the the fireball statues or whatever. Oh yeah, I got it. Now that I've done with this, I can do that. All right. So, what if I told you that I played this game a bunch of times? And all my strategies with the bosses involve being so on the offense that they'll never have a, a, a chance to, like, hit me until I'm hitting them the most time. Yes, I formulated that very nice. It was very coherent and people understood what I said. <laughs> Basically what I'm, what I'm trying to say, kill them before they kill you. You know? This is going to be a little tricky-dicky. I'm a master of English. Well, I appreciate that. Alright. 
Ah yes, a, a good old... A good old Sour Patch Ball. Okay, these jumps are a little spicy, I gotta admit. Oh, he went away. There we go. Okay, I gotta be careful here, because it's gonna about turn a little extra tricky dicky! Oh, yeah. Alright, you, you... Throw up. Throw up. Uh, it's kill or be killed, Joel. Yeah, I know. Alright, it's very frame-perfect how you wanna... Throw yourself out there! Goblin! Goblin! Some health, thank you. Fuck, I forget this shit in the ceiling too. Alright, I think this is where the boss is. Yes, here he is, here he comes! As I said, the strategy here... ...is just to do this! Have this! He's wearing a fucking Speedo. It's like some off-brand panther. Alright, well there we go. Good strategy. Unfortunately, that's gonna bite me in the ass because at the end of this game, I'm gonna have to fight this guy again with... ...a boss gauntlet. Every boss will be that way, so... You know. Master Filmer is now rid of all the monsters. Sadly, one person was afflicted by the monster's curse and has just passed away! No! Right before he passed away, it was <laughs> he was heard to say, I was finally able to be of some help to the people of Fillmore. With all the elimination of the monsters, we can now control the time by ourselves. So please visit other lands and make them as peaceful as our town, Fillmore. There are people praising you outside of this shrine. Sir, Sir God Howard, I know it's unexpected, but our people in Fillmore have something to tell you. Oh, neat. My master, may I inform you that a scroll was found in the woods east of here. We present it to you as an offering. Please accept our gift. I never passed that way. Okay, well, you guys get to get to working on this now. I, 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 I demand it. God demands architecture. Look at that, they're doing a little dance for me. <gasps> My level has increased. That's amazing. Alright, look at how happy everybody is. Alright, let's get this Elder Scroll. Have I seen the newest Zoral animation? I'll check it out at the end of the stream, so... Well, there we go. I guess that's left now is to make them do that. And then... We can move on from Fillmore. And now that they're all happy, let's all destroy them. <laughs> there we go. Um, there are some real bastard bosses in this. There is, um... There's a flying, like, uh... Hindu-esque, like, elephant man? And there's a lot of spikes, and that one always fucks me up, so, um... We gotta watch out for that one. Ganesh, yes. The Elephant Man. <laughs> I know my religion. Alright. Let's see here. Now that we've done this, we're gonna get out of here. And, uh... Let's move. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, we're gonna move. Alright, now... As you can see, we have... Blood Pool. We got Aitos, North Wall. This is, well, you can't see it yet, but this is the last area of the game. It's called Deathheim. So we got Blood Pool, Cassandra. And I believe this is a really funny, Romanianized version of, because in Japanese, Cassandra would be Cassandra. You know. <laughs> and in English, they, they translated the Romanianized version of saying it in Japanese as Cassandra. Cassandra, <laughs> you know, Cassandra, you know, <laughs> it's just funny. All right, well there we go. Uh, and I believe the next one will actually be uh, Eastern Blood Pool. So we need to fight the monsters here first. There we go. Ah, uh, fun fact: uh, Cassandra is also the uh, or Cassandra. 
is the place where uh in fist of the north star where uh toki is kept okay this level sucks ass i fucking hate this level this is the worst level of the game this is this is balls all right i can't uh, tone shift i'm sorry but this sucks this sucks so bad i've spent hours on this level it's these dudes these like gnomes and these lizard men and the music is just it's infuriating and the boss and the fucking boss ho, ho, ho. basically everything in this level is meant to piss you off all right they look like something out of like heroes and might and magic you know you got birds you got turds you got skulls balls all right but the boss of this level just sucks um it's this um god what is it called you guys know mythology better than i do um a cut not a caco demon uh uh kuka kaka What's it called? A cockatrice? Uh, I, uh, 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 caca. What is the caca demon? See what I mean? See what I mean with this level being frustrating? All right. <laughs> Chupacabra, Manticore. It, it's Chimera. Chimera is what I'm thinking of. Oh shit, I need that. And I can't get it, because... I hit it too early. So that means no power-up for me. Ugh! Fun. There's a bit of a... And you know what's funny about this level, too? This level is really hard compared to the other ones. Like, I've always struggled with this one. The blood pool... Like, stage one. Just always fucked me up, man. You can kind of see which ones will fall and won't. Well, you, you know, you know what I'm trying to say here. All right, listen, this boss, this boss is a joke. Someone at Enix was just laughing their ass off. They were, they were, they were just having a bad day, and they wanted to uh, subject the player to some bullshit. This boss is so boring. If you want to go get a sandwich and a soda and come back five five years later and be like, oh, he's finally done. Do it now. It's so dumb. But it's this manticore cockatrice mythology thing. And it just attacks forever. You know? It's just boring. Ugh. And you know what's the worst thing with it? If you fuck up, you get down in the uh, the purple zone. And then you're dead. It's just... Ugh. But check this out. Here it is. Okay, I gotta get the, the pattern here. So it's gonna jump here. Jump back. I gotta get up here. We'll, we're gonna be here all fucking day. He jumps over here. Hit him once. Jump up here. Here he comes. Here he comes. Over here. Boom. This is how you beat him. I am not kidding. Gonna jump over here. Jump over here. Boom. Back. Terrible boss. Terrible boss. You know what? Maybe some magic will do. That actually worked. Oh, fuck! Ah! Pray that doesn't happen when he's, like, down to the last sliver of health, because I will... I will give birth on stream, alright? I'm gonna give birth to a solar baby. That this shit is so frustrating. Alright, well... Let me just kill this guy, so I can have some health before the boss. <sighs> oh, bird. Let's try that again. Maybe we can start with immediately doing that. Okay, sure. That was my last, uh... It's my last magic. It's just a very bo boring boss. And I've always hated this guy. It takes forever. And you gotta be careful too, you, you do not want to get hit and be thrown into the, uh, the purple oatmeal at, at the, uh, the bottom. 
Yep. And uh, here's the thing, too. You don't want to risk getting, like, too aggressive with this boss fight. Because you will get thrown down. You see? You see? It's very close. It can happen anytime. One, two... Alright. It's almost... Oh, fuck! Oh. See, you can't get... You can't get too careless. <laughs> and you can't... You gotta start paying attention too, you idiot! Okay. By the way, look at that moon in the background. It's beautiful, isn't it? Booga! <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Sorry, th th this guy has pissed me off so much that. Oh, oh! Okay, listen, I I'm just so mad at this boss. He took me hours to beat on the first try. So. Okay. <sighs> the real challenge is attention span. Well, I have none, so. Tell what, should should I be a man about it and just like slice him up, go for the kill, or should I, should I be uh, no, no, okay, let's do it. Let's not do that. Bang! You're dead. It takes forever. It takes forever. But you know what's so great about this? They knew this boss was so boring and so... That they left them out of the boss rush. They didn't want him in. Alright. Alright, now we're back in Blood Pool. Well, we are in Blood Pool now. All right, so you see this, uh, the snot that's all over Chorus? That's Marsh, and we gotta get rid of it. All right. What are they saying? My mastery has become very difficult trying to build homes because of the marshlands. Would you please use sunlight to dry up the marshlands? Sure. And it's gonna get a little tricky-dicky, too. Um, you see, the dragons are gonna get stronger, and there's gonna be these, like, red devils floating around, so... You gotta, you gotta watch out. There we go. Yeah. Oh shit, there he is. He's really naughty. You guys gotta. I hate this guy. He sucks. Ooh. He takes forever to kill, and he does this little like twirl whenever he gets hit. Oh, oh no! G get out of here. Get out of here, naughty. <laughs> Mr. Kill. <laughs> Alright. Get the sun here. There we go. Don't forget to go to previous towns to get the population to max. Yeah, we need we need to uh, eventually backtrack a little bit to destroy cities and get it working again. Yeah, it's really, really dumb, but... Uh, what about the fucking evil faces that take 20 hits and can hit you for 40% of your health? Are you talking about Satan at the end of the game? Or... Oh, no, 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 are you talking about the skulls? Oh, yeah, the skulls suck. Alright. Joel, give me your best gaming theory. Why is blood pool full of blood? Um. Why is blood full filled with blood? I don't know, it's, it's, it's that guy from Russia that had the exploding chair. Someone in, in Bloodpool, or before it was Bloodpool, had that gaming chair. And he played a little bit too much Counter-Strike. This is the result. Don't Google this, by the way. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. Alright, let's start moving out. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, I gotta, I gotta, okay. Do this too. Google what? Don't, don't, just don't, just don't Google blood share explosion, <laughs> alright? <laughs> it is the worst image ever. I can't even imagine how fucking awful that would be. That actually happened to me yesterday! I was, I was biking around and suddenly the fucking, the tire goes... <laughs> it exploded! I'm serious! Alright, here we go, here's Teddy. 
My master, we have a problem. It's about my oldest son, Teddy. We're worried that his curious energy may get him into trouble. Well, I know it's nothing to bother you with. I'm sorry for bringing up such a silly matter. Mm, good. But yeah, my bike chair... <laughs> my bike chair? <laughs> my bike chair? <laughs> my bike tire exploded. Um, turns out it had a little bit of a hole in it. And I, I had... That day, I pumped it full of air. With one of those, like, uh, bike pumps. And I filled it with too much. And there was too much pressure in it, so it literally exploded. <laughs> I thought it was someone firing a gun at me. It went... <laughs> Crazy, man. Oh, yeah, they need to find the ability to... Use... Uh... Bridges. Here we go. Anyway, that's an actual spell I need to, like, yeah. Really dumb, but whatever. You aren't streaming, Joel. This is just the imagination to forget you are in hell. Oh, yeah. Can you imagine if this really was hell? Well, I don't know if it could be hell. Sometimes milkshakes are pretty good. He thinks he's streaming again. Alright, well, it's not so bad. I mean, it sucks, but... Uh... Hey, Joel, will you be visiting Australia again? This is if there's a co convention or... Um, nah, I, I mean, I, I'll visit Australia. I don't I don't like to go to conventions and stuff like that. You guys know that. I've never been to a convention, a gaming convention. And I... I, I, I am a bit of an introverted idiot, you know, and large crowds of people freak me out. Which is exactly why I'm streaming. 2,000 people right now. But, um... You know, uh, you know what I would do? I would just send a body double. I would just send, like, quote-unquote Joel. And it's just some, like, mustache man in a hat. Hey, everybody, it is me. Joey. <laughs> hey, hello. I will entertain you with Kermit and Grandad and sometime Panderg. Hey, everybody's uh, Bokpog. That's not the real Joel! No, it's me, John. <laughs> My master, we know how to grow a crop called wheat here in Bloodpool. Please share our newfound crop with lands that we cannot produce wheat. Get out of here. Wheat. Sir God Howard, the civilization level of blood pool seems to have improved. Awesome. There we go. Let's see here. Uh, I've done this. We're going to move down here. And as they're doing this, I need to dry up some of these uh, the snot. Have you heard about MF Doom, the rapper? He sends body doubles to do concerts. What? Won't people just be like, wait a minute, that's not you. <laughs> Alright. Finally, a road connected to us with our neighbor, neighboring town, Fillmore, can now teach the, how to produce wheat. He wears a mask? Oh yeah, that's the guy that's like, uh, Dr. Doom, right? Yeah. What was, what was, was it MF Doom who made those, like, Adult Swim, uh, bumpers? No, that, that was, uh... Dilla Donuts or whatever. <laughs> I don't know my rappers that well, but, uh... Yeah. Alright. I think they work together, didn't they? You know. My master, our son Teddy, has run away from home. We have looked everywhere for him, but we cannot find him. He must be very hungry by now. Oh, my master, we have made a loaf of bread. Please find Teddy and give him the bread. Okay, first of all, I... How did I get the bread? Did I... Did they just have a loaf of bread that they threw into the sky and I just went catching and went, I will deliver the bread to the child. <laughs> I'm very hungry. By the way, here's Teddy. Dumb idiot child. Oh, that's my uh, status. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Loaf of bread, yes. Here you go, dumb idiot child. 
Here we go. Here, eat. There we go. What will Teddy think when he sees the bread his mother baked for him? Sir God Howard. Thanks to you, my master, our son Teddy is now back home. The love of bread reminded him of home and caused him to return. He didn't mean to run away. He was trying to discover how the lake was poisoned. We've always thought of our son as a small child. It was a surprise to see him act as a grown man. According to Teddy, the lake was poisoned because of its closeness to the monster's lair. We present you with the skull that he found in the cave. Please accept it. It was poisoned? Wow. Alright. Magical bread falling from this guy. Alright. Here's a skull. Master. A chirp. A lot of chirp. Oh shit. Well, I'm sorry about that. Are you talking about that chirp? Or there was some like microphone chirp because I'm sorry if that happened. I don't know what caused that. It was God's wrath! My chirp. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, don't worry, guys. God will give you bread for your hurt ears. Alright, well, that's going on. We need to... Also, by the way, there's a lot of hidden monster layers too, so... If you think that, uh, that's it... Nope. You gotta find shit, too, on them. Oh, damn it! By the way, there's Teddy and a dog. The good boys. Right, go seal that shit. I guess because I know how Act Racer plays out. Like, I know what to do, but the first time you'll play this, you'll be like, what the fuck? They stop building. And it's just like, give this child some bread, or else everybody on Earth will stop being productive. It's really dumb. Alright, there we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. Breads. Oh, look at that. 1,200 peoples, okay. You'll have a lot of health by the end of this if I do this right, but again, I guess some people rush to this game. I guess if you're a speedrunner and you don't rely on a lot of health, you can pretty much do this in like five seconds, so... But you know me, I can't do that. NES Age of Empires with religion. No, 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 no. This is not like that at all. This is this game just has elements of I won't say real-time strategy, but it's city management. There we go. Okay, not to do it. Are you guys being productive or are you guys being pieces of shit? Oh, you know what I think they need to do? They need to see more of God's power as he dries up some water. Joe, you should play Age of Empires 2. I did. I did play a little bit of Age of Empires 2, and it gave me that horrendous, horrendous RTS anxiety that I get. Now hear me out. Whenever I play RTS games, I have this gut rot feeling whenever. Because I know I suck at them. And I know around any co any moment now, the AI is going to steamroll me and destroy whatever thing I thought was impressive and good. Suddenly they come with a million archers and then... And I'm like, oh my god, what, what were these assholes coming from? And you're like, oh, we defeated them. That's surely all of them, right? And then 10 seconds later, there's a catapult that comes in and just nukes you. And then you're left with a hollow feeling of, Oh, I guess I was slow. It is quite the dreadful experience, really. Okay, so they, they stopped doing this for some reason, so... I wonder, what is it that they require? Ah, you know what it is? You know what it is? I think that they're hiding something here. Check this out. I knew it! Okay, so they stopped being productive, and I need to get them to be productive again. And I think what I need to do... Get some more shit up here. And I need to also bring this stuff down with my god fury. StarCraft easy mode AI does that to me. Well, you know what's really embarrassing? When games have, like, very easy mode, and it's like... You still are getting steamrolled in it. Like, here's some Mitomatic 3. I play on, like, baby diaper difficulty, and I still struggle, you know? 
some reason, Russia is where all the heroes of Might and Magic people are like experts. Bliat. Mortal Kombat 3 Ultimate. Well, tell you what, uh, Mortal Kombat difficulties are a joke. They just are. Like, uh, you, you've heard me talk about Mortal Kombat too, but th that game's just like a big, big hoo ha. The, the only way to play Mortal Kombat on, against AI is to cheat, you know. It's almost like a meta game. How much cheating can you get away with before the AI is like, Yo, fuck you. It's like a piss contest, you know? Who can be more of a cheating bastard? Alright. Mortal Kombat 11 doesn't look good, it looks too cheap. Okay, I've, I've watched some gameplay footage of 11. And this is me being a ranty bastard, so if you don't like that, then just replace my commentary with the Peanuts teacher going <laughs> I think it looks kind of bad with the character models. They look too realistic and they, they look very uh, bland. They remind me a little bit of like um, default 3D character models that have no personality. <laughs> you know? They look like, they look like, uh, Xavier Renegade Angel people. <laughs> you know, it's like, just man and woman. You know, it's not like that, but, I don't know, I, it just... I think it looks a little boring, because it looks a little too realistic in a way. Isn't it, isn't it, isn't that poetic? The more we emulate real life with better graphics, the more of the art is lost. Big think. <laughs> uh, I don't know. How we enter the unca un uncanny valley? No, no, video games aren't stuck in an uncanny valley. They're more like an uncanny gorge. You know. Bring back FMV games, everybody! We need- we need more people digitized and shit. Bring back- bring back FMV fighting games. Bring back that stank. Oh, wait a minute, we did that with karate, bikini, woman, game, whatever. <laughs> Wasn't so good. More Night Trap, more Harvester, please. <laughs> Actually, Harvester is a bit of a good game, so... Mad Dog McGree. Streets of Fury. I should check- there's a lot of games I want to check out. And oh my god, these guys are building real fucking slow. What's the matter with you guys, huh? Sure taking your sweet ass time. Okay, they're they're getting to it eventually, but yeah. Alright, but anyway. Play Age of Empires 3 with the improvement mod. They added Texas to the game. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, isn't Age of Empires 3, like, set in the Civil War era or whatever? <laughs> you know what I love? I love, uh, Rise of Nations and, uh, Empire Earth and all those games. I love when you have Age of Empires that's set in the future. So you can, you can have, you can actually have two players playing at once, and there's cavemen, and then there is, like, 2006 army technology. So you can literally, like, steamroll your friend playing that's just hitting, like, a, a, a cow in the head with, like, a stick. And suddenly, you know... GET HIM! FUCK HIM! You know... <laughs> it's... it's amazing. And not only that, you can, you can... you can have it, like, cavemen versus laser beams. You know, it's like... Jesus. Caveman with a machine gun. There we go, finally, that took forever. Make the clob noise. Oh, I mean the... Joel, have you seen the Kickstarter for the flat-screen compatible light gun? I have not, but that sounds... That sounds amazing. I miss light gun games, man. I gotta say, though, you, you know, honestly, like, unironically, one of my favorite light gun games ever, and I still, to this very day, have a... have a hoot playing this game, but Duck Hunt on NES is so good. <laughs> oh, man. 
I I'll tell you what though, it it's a funny thing because um, those thousand and one bootleg cartridges and shitty like Chinese, you know, Famicom clones. My friend had my my friend, my friend had one of those as a kid, and we played it all the fucking time. And it had it came with a gun, and it had duck hunt, and it had combat and tank and all that shitty games. Nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine and one. We didn't think anything bad of it, but in a way, what I'm trying to get at is all those bootleggers. They're just trying to get a cheap buck, really. But I kind of want to thank whoever, whatever underpaid. Chinese person made that. I want to say thanks for making my childhood <laughs> with your with your with your with your awful greedy intentions. You have you have bewitched my childhood with joy. <laughs> but uh, I I man, Duck Hunt is such a great great thing. I, you know what? I should just fucking straight up. Oh, no, I can't do that. I can't do that. Could I somehow? Play Duck Hunt on stream. I, be, I guess I had to get a CRT television, split the channel into my capture card, and then play at the same time. I don't know. That would be pretty dumb. But uh, <laughs> I made it. No problem, Joel. <laughs> you know. Okay, you guys gotta hurry up here because I can't be dicking around all day with your dumb, dumb shit. <sighs> All right, you're welcome. All right, we gotta clean up blood pool. Oof. You can use a Wii mode on the Wii U version. Oh, really? Really? Okay. Cheat and Nestopia. Okay, come on. What's taking you guys so long, huh? Jesus. Hey, Teddy, are you? What are you doing, man? Lord, they're taking a fucking their sweet ass time with this. All right, let's check my magic. By the way, I have strength of angel, bomb, and wheat. You guys want to see what wheat does? Well, actually, th this is wheat right here, I believe. But if I go back to uh, Fillmore, I can now teach people wheat. Yeah, the population isn't growing, so I there's something I need to do here. Um. I wonder if I can just straight up kill them. No, I need to kill all the monster layers first. Wheat. Burn them. What do I need to burn? There's something I'm missing here. Uh, looks bugged. No, no, no. A lot of times when in this game you feel like nothing's happening, there's something missing. Essentially, it's kind of weird. Um, let me let me try one more thing here. Maybe with one more bridge, they'll be more happy? Uh... Things are happening. Slowly, very slowly, mind you. I, I guess I could manually destroy the, uh, <laughs> the Monster Slayer, but it'll take, like, eight hours. Oh, there's something missing here, man. I can't... I can tell. The lake is poisoned, yes, but I need to, like, un unfuck it. I've exposed this Monster Slayer, so... Hmm, not doing anything. I wonder what it could be. And I don't think... I don't think destroying a... a just an experiment. If I instead do this... Did, did they just not connect the fucking bridge? Could that... No, that, can, that can't be it, can it? That goes... No, 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 no. There's something wrong here. They're not just doing it. I guess I'll wait in the meantime. Okay, something did happen. Hmm. Well, Teddy over here is chilling out with the dog. Hmm. Well, I guess the dragon is intimidating them. I don't know what's going on here. But they should be able to just get to the monster slayer, man. Hmm, let's see here. What are, the, what, what are the people saying? Let's listen. My master, thank you very much for giving us a, such a beautiful land. Because of this, we can work and be happy. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess nothing so far. And I can't just kill the monsters yet. So there's something... Something missing. 
Hmm... You know what? I'm gonna try to give them some wheat. Did I get the skull? Uh, I don't think I did. Hang on. There's the fucking magic skull. Here we go. According to the fortune tellers, this jewel can destroy even monsters lair. There we fucking go. I totally forgot about that. Alright, now that we have the monster skull. Check this out. Now I'll be so happy about it. Boom. Something's about to happen to the lake in blood pool. See what I mean? You need these very specific things because they just stagnate and don't do anything. So dumb. So dumb. Alright, there we go, finally. My master, we have begun to use our boat for fishing. Some time ago, while fishing on the lake, we found a magic scroll caught in our dragnet. We sent this to you as an offering, please accept it. Well, there we're going back to normal. Finally, and now, now they can start kicking ass again. Not too bad. And now they're upgrading shit too, so look at that. They were just being cranky about, uh, blood. Blood in the blood pool. Blood in the stool. Joe, will ever play 7th Stand User? 7th Stand User 2 is already in the works. Yeah, I, I streamed a little bit of the of that, like, years ago. But I should give it a proper restream, you know? Before I do a 7th seventh, seventh Stand stream, I need to do the translated version of the... Uh, part 5's PlayStation 2 game. Alright. There we go. Get the fuck out of here. Leave! All right, what do you guys say? Oh, more, more stuff. Neato. See, everything turned out okay. Teddy is safe. Everything is gravy. But someone's sad. What's going on? My master, since sealing the last monster's lair, something very dreadful has occurred. A monster appeared from the old castle by the lake and demanded a sacrifice of us. We spent hours discussing this hideous demand and suddenly determined three people should be s selected by drawing lots. Unfortunately, one of those to be sacrificed is my son, Teddy. My master, please go to the old castle and save our son and our land. Oh, shit -o. Well, If you say so. But can you guys uh, build some houses first, please? Thanks. <clears throat> Not Teddy. No. Look at that. Look at that shit, huh? Well, I'll not tell you before all that shit. Well, th th these these peoples are quite stupid. They're stuck in real life. Okay, now they're doing this. Well, tell you what, tell you what. What is when is my next level? Let's just check. All right. Yeah, build that shit. When I level up, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna fix up uh, that castle. Oh, well, speak of the devil. Well, I'm God, so. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Uh, first of all, let's see what what are they offering me? Um, guys, this is the best skill in the game. I am not kidding you. Already the, super early in the game, they give you the best shit in the game. It's really dumb. Uh, but yeah, th there it is. Um, all right. Anyway, let's go back here. First, of all, I need to see my next level. My next level is at fifteen hundred. I actually think I can push it up to to that if I just. Play a little bit more of this. Let's get up here and here. Joel, please don't let people take gigantic bloody shits in the water again. Well, listen. I only help those who help themselves. No, no, stop sacrificing yourselves. Stop, guys. Guys. Maybe I should hurry up because Te Tebby might die. <laughs> no. Please. Okay, well, um, yeah, I'm not gonna hurry if I do this. So let's 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 go kick ass now. <sighs> All right, no, pff, wrong one, wrong again. All right, we're gonna select. Um, tell you what, let's not cheese it because th this is gonna beat everything. So let's do, do magical fire and let's uh, go kill the monsters. Yes. Ah! Ah! Mommy! Mommy, I want off! Ah! Okay. So here's Blood Pool Act 2. Here's more goblins. 
hates these guys. Again, all the environments are very different. Now we're doing like gothic European castle kind of shit. And soon we'll do like... We will do... Uh, God, I even forget what we're doing next, but it's gonna be kind of rad. Is this Bible Man? <laughs> he does look like Bible Man, doesn't he? Okay. It's gonna be a lot of hoo-ha going on in this level later. Trust me. You see what I mean? Oh, God. Alright. Ooh, I need that. I need that shit. <sighs> okay, how many times does it fire? Great. Other way, jackass! <sighs> I love the... I like that the uh, the health recharge in this actually refill your health. They're not kind of stingy with it. Here's more music that plays when you're like... You forget to, like, pay your bills. And like last day was yesterday, and I'm like, oh god, oh fuck. Oh, naughty men, naughty boys. Long arm, long arm Johnson. Okay. Oh, I can just walk through it, that's why. Yeah, this is the electrical zone, or thunder zone, whatever. Oh. I like how Satan has set up, up these traps for me. Oh boy, you ready for some jump shit? Oh god. The Tenderizer. We gotta watch out for the slimes. Fuck you up. Alright, whatever. Oh, I could've gone in that extra health! Whatever. Oh shit! Oh shit, oh! Goblin! Oh, dude, I'm doing bad on health. Oh, God. Can't even make it to the boss before I'm dead? Oh, shoot! <laughs> oh, shoot! Oh, you guys like disappearing platforms? Well, do I have the level for you? Oh, God. Dude, I, I seriously, whenever I think of Mega Man, I just dread the, these parts, because I'm like, oh, no, not this bullshit. <laughs> oh, this is giving me anxiety to play and look at. Oh! Oh! Fireball in my ass! Oh! Ooh. Now that's spicy. Okay, thanks. Let's play this. Oh, there we go. Okay, just keep on going with this. I've actually forgotten what the boss is here. Uh, I, I think it might be... Yo, this guy! It's shitty Castlevania Dracula werewolf man. You'll see. What's cool about this guy though, you can... You can... Do a lot of damage to him before he, uh... Transforms into this werewolf, which he's gonna do in a... Well, hang on, hang on! You guys ready for some cheese? Oh fuck, oh fuck, I missed! Oh, no. Easy, boys! That was fucking really easy. Uh, <laughs> I struggle with this boss at some point. Get out of here, son. Get out of here. First try. All right, and that's blood pool. All right, here we go. My master, we are no longer we no longer have monsters here in blood pool. Thank you so much. My son Teddy has returned from the old castle, carrying a precious scroll. Sent the scroll to you. Thank you very much for taking care of blah 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 blah. And we can now look after ourselves. Please help make other lands as peaceful as Blood Pool. You might change that name. Oh yeah, here got got bye 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 bye. Can't talk today. This is our first thing that happens. That's like intercountry stuff you need to fix. Sir God Howard, I know it's unexpected, but our people in Blood Pool have something to tell you. Uh oh. My master, it may sound strange to you, but please hear our plea. Our people have become bitter and selfish. We have so many quarrels and fights. I'm afraid I worked them too hard in building our town and have caused them too much stress. My master, have you any, anything that will calm the people? Okay, so the first time I ever played... Uh, 
first time I played Act Racer, I did not know what to do here. <laughs> Can you guess what I I did? <laughs> just destroyed the city. I'm like, you're gonna get mad. You're gonna die. Here, have a wheat. Source of magic. Thank you. Okay, no, but for real, you can't. You shouldn't do that because. It, it will kill your population. But what you need to do is you need to go to another city because we're done with Bloodpool now. So we need to go. Arena did the same thing. Oh, yeah. That's funny. We need to go and co go to another city. Now, let's see here, guys. Uh, should I go to Aitos or Cassandra? You guys pick. Sandura! So be it. There we go. This is the level that is um, a little strange because you fly around a lot. I think this might be the one. No, I'm talking shit. This is desert land. What am I talking about? It's a bit of a um, Super Star Wars thing going on here. See what with the variations in this game? It's great. Curses! I have given life to cacti, and now it is my demise! I am God! And I am a fucking moron! Why did I make these? Like, whom, like am I... Did I make Earth? Like... Okay, this, this level is a mess. Yo, watch out, watch out! Well, I, I'm I'm going through this <laughs> the fastest way. Oh, hang on. Awesome. All right. It's like a Mario Three level almost. I made this. It's always weird when like death and God and stuff like that is killed in video games. Like <laughs> in Castlevania, when the Grim Reaper dies, it's like, oh, okay. It's like in Persona or whatever, when you, like, kill God and shit, right? It's like, okay, then what? What? You know. It's like you destroy hell. What's that one game that describes you, like, after you destroy hell, they're like, where will all the bad people go? <laughs> or whatever, right? Check this out. Oh! Look at all this shit! Let me in! Let me in! Sorry. Okay, thanks. I'm doing pretty good, actually. Here's the boss. Big fucko. I mean, I hate to do this again, but... Uh, as you can see... Strategy works before, it's gonna work again. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Who will die first? Oh! 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 <laughs> yes! Yes! Ah, uh, it works every time. Yeah, yeah! <laughs> okay, uh... Oh, that's Doom 2. That's like, where will the bad people go? That's Doom 2. Fuck that. There's some Doom fan, huh? Don't worry. No one's really ever gone. I think this is the uh, the stage where the disease starts happening and shit. It's kind of bad. Why is every goddamn desert boss an ant lion? Yeah, what else would it be? Some naked dude? Alright, let's do this. This is Kasandura, a desert town. Please send rain to wash away the sand so we may cultivate the fields. Yeah, yeah, I'll do the dirty work. Blah, 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 blah. Wind. Desert bus. There we go. Uh, welcome to the desert. Please remove the desert. Alright, I'm just gonna get 
through this. Shouldn't this get really muddy? Because, like, I mean, desert itself doesn't, like, go away if you just water it. It should be like a sludge town. Whatever. Welcome to Poop Town, where everything is poo. <laughs> Don't laugh at that. Yes, that's how sand works. Alright. Yeah, there we go. The day blaze. By the way, there's two red devils now. You really gotta watch out. Because, again, it's not that bad yet, but trust me, it's gonna get fucking nasty if I don't take care of this quick. I do have the bombs left over, so... Joel, don't laugh, but poo poo pee pee. See, I didn't laugh. Alright, there, there's the other guy. Can you guys, like, quickly just kinda... Do that for me? Awesome, thanks so much. Oh yeah, by the way, now that I have the power of wheat, check this out. I have so much wheat, and now we're gonna... Now I wheat it up. It makes uh, producing stuff and, and population a little bit better. I don't fully remember exactly what it does, but these devils want my wheat. Okay, there we go. Get out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ow. Ouchie. Is this a Harvest Moon Cella 2 mix? In a way, I would say it's kind of like that, you know. Not necessarily, but if anything, it's the closest thing to it. Can I find some more arrow stuff, which is going to help me. I need all of those things for, towards the end of the game, because these giant, like, ass fuck skulls sh show up, and they will destroy everything. You know. I'm just playing really smart at the moment, that's all. More like Sim City meets Castlevania, I guess. But it's kind of weird because I I don't want to I don't want to play an act racer game that's one without the other. You know the the Sim City shit that I'm doing right now, it's really fun. But you also need the fighting like on the ground to complement it, and the other way around, you know. Otherwise, it'd just be act racer too. Oh, he destroyed my wheat! You see him do that? Shit! He stole my wheat. Asshole. Okay, well. More wheat, please. Sir God Howard, when you offered wheat to the field, your wheat increased by one seed. Okay. Sure. <laughs> That's how it works. Agriculture. Okay, while they're doing this. I should all start. Oh, no, 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 not my wheat. You guys do that. Hey, go seal this monster lair, please. Thank you. Oh, shit, he's gonna steal it. No, no, stop. That's my wheat. Are they getting cranky now? No, shit, stop. My precious oatmeal. <laughs> my oats. And goats. Okay, get the fuck out of here. Is that really wheat? Looks more like rice to me. Listen, I am God and I will strike you down. <gasps> oh my god, wait a minute. There's a, there's a quest involving here. Sir God Howard, the civilization of Cassandra seems to have improved. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it's a little bit of a quest thing with the guy that's out in the desert. Alright, there we go. Just gonna keep on doing with this stuff. The guy in the desert, OTL? What? <laughs> no, that's my wheat! Oh, I nearly destroyed my- He nearly destroyed my wheat. Okay. Blessed rain. I wonder if I can just use the, the rain on the wheat here to, like, fix it? I figured, look at that. That's amazing. Do you guys know how much I've I've avoided reading chat for whenever I say wheat? And it just happens to be 420 today. Listen, I 
I am, I am, I have the discipline of a falcon to ignore that shit. <laughs> yeah, discipline of a falcon, right to, right to. <sighs> All right, anyway, now that we've done that, you guys gotta build out some more. Thank you very much. Awesome. Let's see here. Uh, shouldn't you be saving the guy in the desert? He's fine. He's fine. He's taking a sand rest. Stop. Okay, they're doing this stuff now. There we go. Listen, he's just drying out. He's dry. He had a. He had a. He had a sweaty day, and he's just uh, drying out in the sun because. <laughs> Yeah, he's taking a dark nap. <laughs> did you? Did you? Did you? Did you fucking destroy my field again? Yo, this guy, huh? This guy, huh? This fucking guy, huh? Fix all the desert and water his spot last. Okay. <laughs> no, I think I gotta do it now, or else they're gonna like be cranky and be like. There's a guy! Stop! By the way, they gave the the devil a little butt. Okay, well, there we go. They're building. They're building. It takes a while for them, but, uh, yeah. You better not mess with me, man. I got arrows. Oh shit, dragon! Actually, the dragon is weaker than the red devil, so what? Why am I. So freaked out by him. Save the dude. Listen, look, look, he's fine. Look. I'm jumping on him. He's fine, look. <laughs> I'm twerking on him. Twerking on some dead guy. With my giant gargantuan angel ass. No! <sighs> that guy. Yo, that guy, huh? That's my precious wheat. Nice of devils to ignore the surveillance and only attack the wheat fields. Yeah, dude. Stop. No! He destroyed my tent and he destroyed my wheat. Okay, well, you guys gotta hurry up here. Oh, while, while they're doing this, let's actually start raining more. Whew. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, so... You want a spoiler on what the guy did? <laughs> so... All of these cities have some sort of problem, right? The problem in this city, or you're about to find out, there's a big evil temple... ...that has the power of music! And this guy was the first guy to ever invent music! And he was infatuated with this temple. Because I think the temple was the one who introduced m music. I don't know, but listen, let's just move to him now. Yeah, 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 let's go over here and then... Alright. He made rap rock and everybody got pissed off! I always kind of... I was talking to uh, a friend of mine. We were hanging out, and we're, we, we sat there, we, sh we just shat on Limp Bizkit for like an hour. It's funny, like, Fred Durst is like 63 these days. I don't know how old he is, maybe not that old, but... He's like, talking about middle school math teachers. SHIT! Yo, math sucks! I'm Fred Durst, motherfucker! Shit! Piss! The Nookie! He, he's like, got, got like a cane on stage. And he's ranting about, you know... He's 48. Well, that's close. Oh no, fuck! Ooh, this is bad. See, uh, they took all my health now. So now I gotta do this. Oof. You know, I try to dropkick one of the members of ICP. And that takes me back. Remember in the early 2000s where all these, like, new metal bands and rap artists, they all had beef with each other? And as, like, a nine-year-old, you're like, Yeah! Slipknot is gonna kill Eminem! <laughs> 
<laughs> that was our whole world back in the day. You know, who's gonna kill who? When is Timmy gonna get back my Lego Racers N64 cartridge, you know? Big issues. Not like today. Alright, well, I would love if you guys can just move on and get to that guy, please. Oh, they're so annoying. Fuck off, that's my wheat. Alright, oh, by the way, uh, what are they, what, what's this formation called in real life? The, uh, the NASCAR? <laughs> no, that's not called that. Uh, the Nazca. Yeah, there we go. Okay, guys, there, there's a dying man out there. I really appreciate it if you could. All right, here we go. My master, thank you for leading us to them. Sadly, life has already left that missing man when we arrived. We planned to bury him near the shrine. The missing man was found holding a strange skull in his hand. My master, we present this to you as an offering. But what could it be? Hmm? My master, Cassandora is the birthplace to the marvelous art form music. I composed this music for the man who lost his life in the desert. Music has mysterious powers. By listening, people can calm their hearts and soothe their pains. My master, we present you with the music as this year's offering. That's amazing. It's like this. It's like this, you know, it's like... <coughs> we present to this music god! It's amazing! Never make music again, okay? <sighs> Happy music. All right, let's see here. Uh, the rain. You made that, didn't you? No, 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 I didn't actually didn't make that. That's passenger of shit. Look him up. Uh, that's music. Oh, shit, I accidentally watered the grass. So it's called I Staple Tapeworms on My Penis. It's a really a great jazz classic. A tremendous rain fell on the northern desert, revealing a pyramid. We sense an evil presence exuding from it. We'll be investigating the matter. We'll let you know what our investigation uncovers. Oh, great, my people are detectives now. <laughs> Sir Ga God Howard, I know it's expected, but blah, 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 blah. All right, whatever. Rain of a mysterious attraction. One of our people was attracted by the mysterious power of the pyramid. However, there is something wrong with the pyramid. Those who went in to investigate the pyramid have not come back. Okay, that's what it is. It wasn't so much that the pyramid made music, but he, that that one man made music. Okay, but can you guys please build up here? I don't think he will. First of all, let's take this offering. Harmonious music, yes. Okay, now the people here. Could you please play a nice song and be happy? Can't you tell what the man was feeling when he wrote this music? Oh yeah, absolutely. I can absolutely tell. However, my master's music isn't one of the calming influences in people's lives. This item should be given to the people when they are discouraged. I'm sure we could help out with something there. Alright, well, tell what, because the people aren't built. Oh, they are building slowly. I just need them to seal the monster slayer and then 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 we're gravy. It's taking them a sweet fucking minute to do it. 
There we go, thank you, finally. Okay. Joel, why are there a bunch of sexy demons trying to beat your wheat? Because I'm God Howard. Found a strange statue. Alright. Oh, a bomb. You know what really makes me laugh? Those... There used to be on the... I don't know if this is still a thing, but there used to be these... Because you guys know about eye dosers now, but do you guys know about summoning sex demons? Oh my god, there, there's YouTube videos how to summon a demon. <laughs> a succubus. Not now, succubus, I'm trying to play my video games. Oh shit, here we go, I gotta ring this. Up too. BRB summoning one. So what? What's the catch? What's the catch of summoning a succubus? I need to know. You know, I'm. I'm that's a joke. Haha. <laughs> Getting your soul eaten. Well, what? What does that mean? What does that mean? They suck your soul. Yes, but what? Wh what? What does that mean? You go to hell? Well... Okay, I don't get it. This is a very good topic for this kind of game. Why is it everything fun in life gets you to hell, but everything boring leads you to heaven? It's almost as if... It's almost as if the cool people go to hell and party all the time, and the boring people go to heaven and, like, read and take baths. Listen, I'll go to hell and I'll be, you know, surfing on the lake of fire, high-fiving high the devil every time I see him on the beach. It's a Bill X quote, but, you know. <laughs> watch, watch some, like, uh, pastor watching this right now, and it's like, mm -mm. Listen, that Joel guy... Uh uh. We don't watch him in church anymore. <laughs> when he's talking about, like, diapers, that's fine, but as soon as he mentions this, no more. The pyramid has been exciting, enticing us. Those who went to investigate the pyramid have not returned. When we seal the final monster's lair, the pyramid revealed its true purpose. The pyramid is the main monster's lair. Oh, master, please calm down and seal this evil pyramid. Well, I'll try. Alright, well. Let's go do this. I should I actually should start watching um or watching what I'm talking about. I should be using the Stardust thing. Because it's the best in the game, really. But it's so cheesy, you know. But I need it for the final level. Uh more ensemble of farts. Snakes. Alright. The mummy! <laughs> How spooky. Oh, god damn it. It's like I'm playing uh, Spelunky again. How the fuck did I hit that arrow? Like a backswing, I guess. Oh, Eagle Man! Oh, he's fucking me up. Oh, he's really hurting me. Okay. Oof. Joel, what do you prefer? Mancubus, succubus, or incubus? Jesus, you guys are worse than the uh, the people that say like, Joel, what kind of what kind of what kind of fetishes are you into? Are you into foot jobs, blow jobs? And I say, I'm not into any jobs. I'm unemployed. Don't laugh at that. There we go. Get up here. Gotta be careful though. Do not want to have more accidentes. Oh, like this! Oh no! Oh lord! Well, I am the god. You know. Bru Bruhaha. Again. 
Again, again with this shit. Okay, here we go. And jump! Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm not fine. God damn it, I really need that health. Time to do that part all over again. <laughs> this music is kinda kinda funny, isn't it? Alright. And jump! Alright, here we go. Have I played Illusions of Gaia? Oh yeah, I have, I have. There's a very old dumb internet meme that still makes me laugh. I know it's Secret of Mana I'm thinking of. It's just a really dumb image of uh, someone playing Secret of Mana together, net play on ZSNES, and they're using the uh, the chat option to say stuff. And there's a city in um, Secret of Mana called like Poteos or something like that. And one of the guys in the chat goes, "We're going back to fucking Potatoes to get my power ring." <laughs> <laughs> Potos. Potos is the name of the city. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I, I probably misquoted that, but it still makes me laugh. <laughs> Potatoes. That means ass in Chilean. Okay. Oh, shit. Really? Okay. Oh. Stuff's gonna drop from the ceiling. I know it. Yeah. I saw it. And I'm just abusing the invisibility frames. I don't know how you avoid that attack. Maybe we gotta jump. In. Ooh, I'm taking a lot of unnecessary hits here. I don't need that kind of shit. There we go. The boss is really easy on this one. Like, you you saw uh, the werewolf boss, and he can be really hard, but this guy, Pharaoh Head, on this level, he's kind of easy, actually. Watch me say that now that I've jinxed it, you know? Am I going to play Sekiro? Ah, I don't know. I don't know. I feel I have, I'm playing a lot of games at the moment. Like, I want to finish Katamari and all that. See, I don't want to start a lot of games and just, you know, never finish them. I want to finish what I've got going so far and, you know... <gasps> Take it from there! Oh! <laughs> Mama! See, I'm playing Sekiro right now, dude. <laughs> Fucking hell. Do I like the Souls games? Oh yeah, I do. But I gotta be in the mood for it, you know? Like, sometimes you, you just wanna play some dumb sandboxy shit. Sometimes you wanna, like, cry in a corner for, like, three hours. And that's when you play Sekiro, I suppose. Alright, well... First of all, I want to play Katamari, and then we'll see from there, but, you know, now that we've finished Doom Streams, there's a lot of slots opened up for potential new games as well. Okay, there we go. Speaking of Katamari, when is the next stream? Probably tomorrow, honestly. There we go. Mummy. And Shenmue, of course, which is not done yet. We gotta finish that. By the way, there's no charge-up attacks or nothing on, on the avatar here. Like, you got sword and then you got magic. There's nothing... nothing else to it. Which makes the, uh... Which makes the uh, combat feel a little basic at times, but it serves its purpose, you know? Alright, there we go. Another guy. Oh, thank you! You know what? Screw you! You don't have to kill everybody. It's good, you know. Here he is! Shenmue, everybody? Not Shenmue, I'm talking Spelunky. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Owie. One more. East boys. East boys. Whew! Wow! That was amazing! Tell you what, easy boys. We're going back to potatoes to get my fucking power wrist. 
Dude, will I ever play a Devil May Cry game on stream? I did years ago. I, did, I played DMC. But maybe. I want to kind of play the original Devil May Cry for PlayStation 2, you know? We'll see. Now, you know what I should do? I should just, like, troll the shit out of everybody. It's like, hey, guys, Devil May Cry time. Devil May Cry 2. <laughs> Thank you, my master, for sealing the evil pyramid. The man who was lost and died in the desert was probably enticed by the pyramid's magic power. Yeah, that's what I'm told. Yeah, I didn't remember this right. Thank you so much for taking care of us. We can now look for after ourselves. Please help other lands become as peaceful as Kassandura. I know it's unexpected. Yeah, 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 yeah. My master, too many p are people are dying of the plague. It is terrible to see so many suffer, wither, and die. Please give us some herbs. God damn it. God damn it. <sighs> Please save us from suffering and bring peace to our lives. But I don't know if it's a plague. They just pretend they're babies. Goo -goo -ka -ka -ka. Okay. Well, we're, we're first of all, we need to go back to Bloodpool because Bloodpool is where the people were bickering and shit. So, all right, let's go. Uh, here we go. Uh, use an offering, and we need the. Music power. Sir God Howard, this music will calm people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sir God Howard, I know it's unexpected. Yeah, 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 yeah. My master blood pool, my master blood pool has extended its borders to the far reaches of the ocean. With the man's invention of a device known as a compass, our navigational ability has improved tremendously. We present you this compass to you as an offering. Please accept it. Hooray! Now please build. Guess they could get over this shit for a minute. Alright. Now, let's see here. Bring wheat to Philmar. Oh yeah, they need wheat! So did this. Yeah, come on, guys. Yeah, that's great. Now build. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Oh, um. Hey, I just learned this, by the way, but here's a little early Joel tip for you. Uh, I learned that you can get a GPS in your phone instead of an actual physical GPS in your car. I don't drive myself, but uh, yeah, you can uh, you can get a GPS for your like a car that just tells you where to go. Now you know. Welcome to tw 2010. Well, shut up. Shut up. Listen, I don't I don't go outside too often. You know. Listen, I'm I'm only 80, okay. I'm still young. <laughs> okay, they're they're building shit. That's good. You can probably blow some of the houses up too. Yeah, but do our you don't necessarily need every piece of like as long as you get the the uh, the gist of like you know. Hey guys, did you know there's a thing called Fridge where you can get your beers? Cold Life Hacks 2019. What is this Fridge? Whoa. I just assumed that, you know, the phone GPS thing was like a relatively new thing because, you know, I don't drive, you know. I don't know. But... GPS and phones have been around for a long time. Okay, well, Joel confirmed for living in the Stone Age. Listen, you guys better shut up before I fucking pull an earthquake on you, alright? <laughs> Joel, did you know that you, you can make phones, you can make calls with your phone? Yeah, did you know something else? Shut your mouth. Shut the heck up. You don't know me. You don't know me and my lack of technology. Okay, let's see here. So my next thing is... Let's see here. The next is... 20... 2,200... Okay. 
Well, uh, I guess I could destroy some of these houses, but for now, oh, there's Teddy. Hmm. Yeah, let's just go back to uh, back to Fillmore. Uh, all right, I'm serving the people. Who wants some wheat? Shit. Y'all want some wheat? Look at that. They have now achieved wheat. Yeah, this, did I not bring a city up here? Yeah, I did. Yeah, it's fine. Everything looks good. Can I build down here? No. Would you guys like one more wit? Wow, that's incredible. Let's just move to a new city, honestly. I don't need to dwell too much on this. Before before we uh, go to the last stage of the game, I, should, I say that's when we should be... Um, that's when we can uh, earthquake everything. Alright, uh, let's see here. Now that we did this, we should go here and kick some ass. Now, this is the flying stage. This stage is a little funny. Ah. Alright. Um. <clears throat> Whoa. Aitos. Did I see the Happy Happy Jojo Vinesauce Edition video? It's great. Uh, so I haven't seen it properly yet, but I know Zerald made it, and you know everything Zerald great makes is great. So, yeah. All right, I'm gonna get through here. So, uh, God, I'm playing as God. God has three friends in the world. He has an angel friend and two birds and a giant. Uh, God diaper that will carry me through it. Fuck. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me <clears throat> do that again. Thanks. Damn it. Man. You couldn't go any possibly slower, could you? I nearly hit him in the head. Oh god, they're fla throwing flaming hot Cheetos at me. It's very important you don't get off on this thing. Ooh, la, la. There he is! Bird demon. Oh. Joel, play Mega Man ZX. I don't know what that is. There we go. It's a Tengu. Ah, right, there we go. Oh boy. Rolling shit, my favorite. Oh, I it can't hurt it either. Oh, we gotta get a move on. Okay, now, now it's just an endurance, you know. Fuck off. I can't believe I actually avoided all that. What the hell? Question is, is there is there health on the other side here? There probably is, but whatever, let's just get get through here. No, not the tornado! I said that tin tin thing. With the uh, farting on a dog and a whirlwind or whatever. So what's Mega Man ZX? This is one of those like Game Boy Advance games that ba Battle Network 11, Neo Genesis, or whatever. Oh, cocktease! It's DS. Well, I I unfortunately. Oh shit! That's a that's Flame Sword, dude. That's really good, but I have so little health, I can barely use it. Okay, this is gonna fucking suck ass. I... Guys, can I do this with no health left? Uh. Ch 
shit. Oh shit! Oh. Yes! Yes, I did it! Fuck you, dragon! Damn! I'm bracing to this. Whew! Mamma mia! One HP. Not bad. Not bad at all. ZX is placed like XP can change between suits, kind of. Oh, okay. God is a cheesy bastard. <laughs> Alright, this one, I gotta seal a volcano on it, if I believe right. God, Howard, I hate this maybe come up, blah, 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 the same old shit. This great plat plateau has laid uncultivated for many years. Please the mighty power of lightning to destroy these rocks so we can be. Yeah, yeah, okay. No problem. I'll get to it. Don't worry about it. Aitos is Greek for eagle. Ah, okay. Yeah, I do this and I do that. Why do I get in return? Not even a thank you. Yes. Yes. Um, I might be doing good against the bosses now, but again, I have to do all these bosses on a boss rush with, like, minimal health. It won't recharge my health. I'm just letting you know. <gasps> there he is! There he is! These are the worst enemies in the game. They will fuck you up, son. They will destroy you. They will come over slightly and just go... and destroy... your entire life. They are the worst. And they hurt so much. Oh. It's Mr. Kill. It might be Mr. Kill. Alright. I just gotta be careful how we do this. No, 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 no. I think there is a monster light right there. Oh, yes, it is. Fuck. Okay. Um. There's a lot of shit to do here. I always wondered, how do you decide what to stream? Do you have a schedule? Is it just what you're feeling that day? Well, I'm surprised you asked me that, cool man, but... Because you've been around for a while, but... No, it's just literally what I feel like. I, I don't have a schedule. I'm just like, eh, whatever. Oh, oh no! Please! Oh no! Yeah, no! Oh, I'm fucked. Guys, we have to bomb him. We have to use a bomb. Oh god, oh fuck. Can you please, please seal this lair? Okay, while that's going on. Oh, mama. I like when Joel ignores a problem for too long and it becomes much worse. Well, I'm not ignoring the problem, it's clearly there, but I'm just saying like... You know, I gotta be passive about it. Go up, go up, go up, go up, up please. Literally a giant lost soul, yeah, pretty much. But yeah, I... It just depends what I'm in the mood to stream, you know? I like... I try to be streaming a Hardcore Friday, FMV Friday, you know? And I do Spooky Saturday. And I do something, like, funny on the Sundays, but... You know, I... I, I feel if I started doing a schedule and I streamed every day because I... 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 Like... I needed to, quote-unquote, then I wouldn't be streaming, man. It wouldn't be more, more fun for me. I stream because I just enjoy it, you know? I miss some dickhead, you know? I don't treat this as some, like, super hardcore, like, oof. Anyway, as you can see, the skulls are awful. They are so stupid. Uh, and again, when you're out of lives, you can't shoot arrows and you can't do anything, so... You gotta be real careful, man. Oh god, no, he, he needs to fuck off, or he might be destroying my city soon. Okay, come on, come on, get your health up, get your health up, dude! He's gonna do the thing soon if I don't hurry up. <sighs> that was close. Build, 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 please. You boys need to build right now. Take down some more bushes. Joel, you should do an Easter Easter special stream. Well, this is it, man. I'm playing as God. You know, Easter all is all about God 
and stuff. You know. I was gonna do the U Testament, but I might save it for tomorrow for like a very special dumb stream. Okay, guys. Please. Boo! Seal that fucking monster lair, please. Ow. Okay, he's gonna slam down and kill my city if I don't get fucking shit up soon. <sighs> okay, he's gone. Oof, okay. Strange statue. Alright, awesome. Now what do you gotta say? Our oh, master, my husband suffered serious injuries while sealing the monster's lair. So I alone must continue the building of Aedas for a while. Oh, okay. Hey, Skull, can you... Ah! Talk shit, get hit! Ah! Oh, he's kind of stuck. Ha ha. Ha ha, noob. Ah! Jesus. Uh. Alright. Neat. Alright, we just gotta get rid of him. Oh! Get my health up, please. He, he's, like, he's like an angry cat, you know it's gonna strike you. Whoa! Totally, these skulls suck ass. It's angry. All right, there we go. We're doing good progress, though. I forgot what the. I think this might be the boss with the fire wheel, and I think it's some weird uh, yokai reference or whatever. I'm not sure. Oh, master! One of our people wanted to seal the monster's lair, even though he was also seriously injured. If seen the monster's lair, he was fatally injured. Oh no! He's now standing before the shrine with his last ounce of strength. His last request is to pass away while being covered by my master's tears. Please grant his request. Send the rain. Okay, if you want. It's my pee, dude. Oh. That his face was showered with his master's tears was peace enough. Oh, master, thank you for showing compassion on him. His great uh, hour of need. Yeah, tears, haha. Alright, let's start building out. There we go. Compassion. Should have zapped them. <laughs> uh, oh, yo! What the fuck? There's an actual zapping thing in one of the cities. There's an Easter egg in this game. If you zap your town building, this one, uh, you get a free spell or something like that. I forget what it is. Why are your tears so warm, master? How many towns are left until the final boss? Uh, I think one, this one, and two more, and then uh, then you have a last dungeon boss thingy. So, oh look at that little windmill. This isn't very hardcore, Joel. This is super fucking hardcore. I'm god. This one and two more. Well, three, you know. This game is surprisingly short. It, well, it, it, when you when you look at it on uh, how long to beat, this game is like 10 hours, which I don't think is really like accurate, but whatever. Here we go, my master. The wind is gone, and without our windmills, won't work. Would you cause the wind to blow, please? Okay, but only this once. Wow, that's amazing. Music is so serene. <laughs> didn't Areno actually fail this game on Game Center CX? Oh, yeah, I did, didn't he? I am a huge Game Center CX fan, and whenever I get to play the same games as Areno, I feel I feel honored. <laughs> Sir God Howard, I know it's unexpected. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have learned to make clothes from the fleece of our sheep. This fleece is very warm and could be very useful to any land as cold as Aitos. This year, when we present this fleece as an offering... Wow, you brought me sheep? Well, it's not like I made the sheep. <laughs> Alright, thanks, I guess. Alright, so they're gonna get done doing that, and they're gonna start doing this as well. It's all good. 
Alright then. Uh, what else was gonna show in the city? I do like that all the cities are differently shaped. Like, they all have a different flair to them, you know? Alright, now that I'm done with this, let's go see all the other monsters later and start kicking some ass, man. Oh, fuck off, dragon. Ass a pulled cold fleece. Okay. Uh, get out of here. Shoo. My level has increased. You see my health going up here? Soon, eventually, I will have enough to, so I can say, okay, I can beat the last boss. The last boss of this game is... is a fucking bastard, alright? It's a bunch of Satans, and they all send you through a boss rush, which I've described before, but... It's just... Ugh, it's really tough, man. So you need every... every spell, everything you need for, like, you know, to help me through it, so... Satan is a fucking bastard. <laughs> he is! Tanzra. Whatever. A bunch of Satans. Satans. You guys ever watch the movie, uh, The Killing of Satan? It's one of my favorite Indonesian movies. Is it Indonesian? Yeah. It's a movie where uh, Dracula and the, and the Satan teams up to kill this one guy that's got Jesus Christ powers, and he's got a laser stick. Look it up right now while you're watching this YouTube, The Killing of Satan. You'll have a fucking good time. Alright, more bows. Okay, I haven't used that yet, but I'll need it for the uh, the snow level, because that's when it gets bad. Indonesia makes movies? I thought they only make GTA bootlegs. Uh, good old, good old Indonesia. I think that's all of it. You should totally play Minecraft. Why? <laughs> Qu question mark above my head. My master, we have now refined our mountain engineering skills. The mantis hold many unseen mysteries. We'll inform you if anything is discovered. Because it would be epic. Ah, I see what you guys are going at. Minecraft is still a genuinely fun game. Oh, yeah, absolutely, but I, I couldn't stream it because you guys would jump down my throat and, you know, dab the shit out of the stream, and I wouldn't want to do that. <laughs> but, uh, I don't, I don't mind Minecraft, but I haven't played Minecraft since it was, like, free, you know? When it was, like, alpha in 2009, 8, you know? I don't know what is different about it. But what's funny is like, now YouTube videos are appearing that says like, Top 10 Minecraft things only original Minecraft players remembers. And it, it's all like, I, I watched that video and it's literally a bunch of, Back in Alpha 05 when Minecraft Steve was still called Minecraft Bobby. And I'm like, what, what? I don't know what this means. Well, um... Survival of Minecraft is really fun to to try it someday off-stream. Oh, I, absolutely. I do like building stuff, but... Um... You know, I, I don't really mind too much, like, what people think of a game, you know? But... Minecraft is an exception, because I think, in a way, Minecraft is... Minecraft, you know what I mean? You, you can't really escape the, uh... The, uh... The asterisks of streaming a Minecraft thing, because it's like, what is he a Minecraft streamer now? Hoo ha ha ha! You know? So. It's becoming all right to like again. By who? Who said that? Did the video game king ascend from his throne? Minecraft is okay! 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 He said it! <laughs> Mr. John Video Game. I guess uh, the VGAs announced it, you know, where uh, uh, Jeff Keighley and, you know, Hideo Kojima, sponsored by 
Pepsi said, It is okay to play Minecraft. 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 Let's see here. Joel, you hypocrite. Why is Undertale okay despite the fan base while Minecraft is bad for its fan base? Ah, uh, here we go again. Oh boy. All right. So first of all, I streamed Undertale when it wasn't a big thing. It was just a indie game that happened to grow exponentially post me streaming it. Um, and beyond that, I would say to I've said this before, but the people that dog on Minecraft, uh, or, well, I could say this for Minecraft too, in fact, but uh, especially Undertale, people who complain about Undertale's quote unquote bad fan base is 25,000 times more annoying. Because I, I honestly have seen like one, one, two bad things from Undertale, but I have seen a uh, Googleplex of people saying, let's kill people who, under, who like Undertale. <laughs> You know, I don't, I don't, I don't dislike Minecraft. I don't dislike the fan base or whatever. I'm just saying Minecraft is super, super popular on YouTube, and like every grandma has played it. You know, you know, there's nothing wrong with, but that's all I'm saying. It's just Minecraft. It's it's got that title too. It's like holy shit, Minecraft. I tell you what, though, man. Like, once you start letting go of judgment of what people think of you doing something, like playing a certain game or whatever. I mean, unless you're playing like Semen Inferno 25, then maybe there's a bit of a judgment because it's like, dude, maybe play Solitaire instead. But I'm saying just games in general. Like, if you play Fortnite or Apex or what the fuck ever, and you like it, then fucking play it. If you're having fun with something, you don't, you shouldn't feel bad about it. You know. Damn it. <laughs> but again, uh, the internet... The internet is nothing but horrendous judgment and uh, isolation, so... Um, you know, for someone growing up... That needs to get validated, and they say... If you play Minecraft, you are big ass! And they're like, oh, I'm big ass for doing this? Well, Minecraft sucks then. People are very... Um, they're very um, swayed by what people tell them, you know? That's why I always encourage people to be like, you know, just form your own opinion. Alright, anyway. Oh, Master, please save us. The old dormant volcano has suddenly erupted. We can hear the monster's footsteps. Our town, Athos, will not only be destroyed, but the eruption, but also by monsters. Ew. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Mama! Okay, we need, we need to get the fuck out of here quick and kill him. Alright. There we go. You're in the lava. Okay. Well. Anyone else watch like lava in school on like documentaries and stuff like that? And you're like, damn, that looks delicious. <laughs> ah! Okay, may maybe I retract that statement. Looks like yummy candy. And I'm not talking about boiling lava. I mean when the lava is like going down the volcano and it looks like candy. <laughs> mm, okay, I'm I'm doing good here, huh? I'm go doing great. Uh huh. Okay. Well, they recycled the goblins a little bit. Here he comes. Okay. Gotta still watch out. You don't want to have more accident this. Jesus Christ, it's a Kirby cloud or something. Shit. There we go, get out of here. Yes, yeah, get a, get a little tricky dicky now with the Oh Oh, you scared me through. Lava is just boiling ketchup. I can't believe we actually have an academic in chat. We actually have someone actually educated. That's amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, fuck. Fuck. It's gonna be more, huh? 
Oof, my toes. My toe, my toe! Just get me through! Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, damn it. Shit. Oh, that was too bad, Sir God Howard, but I know you will never give up. I will watch for your gallant return. Yeah, shit. All right, let's try that again. Yeah, the stage is kicking my ass right now. An Atus was destroyed by God being shot by a random fire arrow. <laughs> okay. I love, I love when, when, like, the hero dies a shitty, dumb death, and some, like, I like to think that it, that is the canon way it was described in the here in the textbooks, you know, afterwards. And then God died by slipping his toes into a random lava pool, and then the, the destroyed earth crumbled and by. Pretty tough level, actually. Okay, we gotta watch out. Looks like wh what's his name? Cracko, Cracko from Kirby. Oh, <gasps> mama! Get, get the fuck, get the fuck out of here! Yeah, I remember this this level being quite a bastard. <laughs> I was ranting about the other level, saying, "Oh, this level is so hard," and boo ba 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 ba. And here we are at the. Uh, the hot soup zone, and just, you know, we turn up the, the bullshit to 11. Alright. Speaking of hot soup, you know, it's funny, whenever I buy tomato soup from the store, I end up never eating it. Because <laughs> I'm like, when I'm at the grocery store, I'm like, you know what, this would be great. It's like very smooth soup, and it's nice. And then I get home, I'm like, I don't want this shit. <laughs> You know, check this out. Lacey. Oh, it did nothing. Wonderful. Well, it did do something! It burnt my nipples off. Okay. I don't like that. I was having a conversation about, with someone today about this, but whatever happened, like, is jackass culture, like, over? You know, you know, when everything was kind of gross out, MTV, -y, it was always, like, Fear Factor eating bugs and, like, skateboarding and fucking... Is that shit over now? It's no longer cool? I think it's actually over, like, you know, the Wild Boys and Jackass and, you know... All that shit. And those, like, you know, accident shows where, like, Yo, dude. His eyeball popped out. The mid-2000s is over. Fear Factor still on TV. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I am getting my ass kicked on this. Oh, my God. All right. Did I have a favorite show, Joel? Um, out of that era? Um, uh, I don't know. Uh, but I'll say, I'll bring this up because, I, you know, when I was traveling to Australia, I landed in Singapore. And Singapore had, like, MTV on. I'm like, holy shit, MTV is still on? And... It just can't, like, it, I, it, in my head, I used to, like, MTV is rendered null and void because of YouTube, right? Like, there's no need for, for MTV. So what they end up doing is, like, you know, those shows where, like, they... What, what do they do on MTV? What is it that MTV does? Shh, that's unfair. That's bullshit. MTV Cribs... Teen Moms. Uh, reality bullshit. Well... Seriously, YouTube has replaced MTV completely, and... Uh, you know, um... You know, it's real funny, uh... I... This, this is kind of... 2005? 6? 
Uh, I remember when the first official English dub of Neruda was coming to TV, and they premiered it on like Swedish MTV, MTV and I'm like, whoa, dude. <laughs> uh, and everybody hated it, and then we kept watching it. Big deal, man. Yeah, I say Neruto. I'm sorry. Okay, what, what? You think it's better if I say Naruto? So I was watching Naruto. And, uh... <laughs> yes, okay. Just fire, fire, please. Can't deal with that shit right now. Naruto. Naruto-san. So, um, I was watching some anime the other day on Crunchyroll. I was watching Hokuto no Ken. Shit. But for the record, I don't watch Crunchyroll. But I know why people watch Crunchyroll, because it's like convenient for them. But, uh, you know, um, the shit I want to watch isn't even on Crunchyroll, you know? I think, I don't know, maybe not. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe it do, maybe it don't. Is Fist of the North Star on Crunchyroll? Oh shit, here he is! Mr. Kill! Oh, fuck. Oh, it is. Oh, okay. Oh, fuck, no. Alright, whatever. Just gotta play good as shit and not mess up. Okay. Comes Cracko. Do I have cable? I... I don't know. I haven't plugged in my TV cable in... Literally four years. I don't even know if I have it anymore. Uh... Do I pay for cable? I don't know. Might have to ask him. Hey guys, do I still pay for cable? I don't know. Honestly, like, just just TV and TV is horrible because it's like the shit you want to watch. You, it's like, you know, the convenience of today of like, if you want to listen to something, oh Spotify, you know. If you want to watch something, Netflix or fucking YouTube, you know. Fuck. Just just cable. I swear to God, like I I TVs are great. TVs will never go away because watching shit on a smartphone and and your computer monitor is not optimal. You want to sit your ass down, have some snacks, and watch something. But gone are the days of like enduring commercials for like cable movies. You know what I mean? All right, let's see if I can do this. Oop. Whatever, that, that don't matter. That don't matter. I'm just gonna slug through. Alright, as I said before, the strategy here is a little dumb, but with adversity. Oh fuck, I missed it. But who's gonna die first? Me or Mr. Wheel? Take your bets now. Oh shit, I might actually die here if I don't. Nah, it's fine. Or is it? Oh, it hurts. Uh. Yo, yo. Yeah, but, you know. TV versions of shit are the worst. No, no, no. TV versions of the shit of the shit is the best. Like, I was watching The Big Lebowski uh, on, uh, on my way home from... Um, uh, uh, what was it? Uh... Indonesia, whatever. Anyway, the scene where, where uh, this is John Goodman and he saw this is what happens when you fuck a stranger in the ass for the TV version. You know what they say? It's what happens when you find a stranger in the Alps. <laughs> in fact, I'll show it real quick because I like it so much. Robocop has also been fucked around with. Hang on. Check this out. They did a pretty good job, like, dubbing it, but, like... When you find a stranger in the Alps, <laughs> there's 
<laughs> if you've never seen this before and you're like, what the fuck? That's. This is the original, just for comparison. This is this is this is this is the movie version, and they did a good job dubbing it. But here, here's the real version. Fuck a stranger in the Alps. <laughs> stranger in the Alps. Okay. Anyway, pretty good. Anyway, I'll be right back. Sit tight. I need a little bit of a break because I've been playing this fucking act racer game for a while. So, be right back. Sit tight. More shit coming up. Don't go nowhere. All right, we're back. Stranger in the Alps. All right, anyway. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. What, what is it they got to tell me now? Almost have been destroyed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome, man. So let's see if we can maximize this before we go, because it's, it's not at max potential here. All right. Yeah, yeah, keep building. Again, I probably should actually... Um, Destroy this city so they can build more to it because it's not optimal, which is bad, but You know, whatever Kill everyone to rebuild. I'm gonna do that before death time essentially um, uh, Joel have you seen the Mortal Kombat smoke trailer? He sounds like harvester hooded guys Shockmaster, It's hilarious. What? Yo Yo, I need, I need to check this out, because I do care about Mortal Kombat 11. My, my, my bitch she ran earlier is not to say the game is bad, I just think it looks a little off. Noob Cybot, okay. Noob Cybot MK11. Well, he actually sounds like... like the Shockmaster. Uh, sure, the world who rules the world. They call me the Shockmaster. The Doom Slayer. All right. Well, let's let's see. You disappoint me. Yeah, I agree. He does. Oh. Oh, mama. The feeling is mutual, brother. Mother would be so proud. You know, I said this before on the Doom stream, but once you once you know how to do this voice, you can kind of do this voice whenever it sounds kind of stupid and it doesn't really sound cool either. Ah, uh, next time, gadget. You when you do this, it just sounds stupid as hell. So now they could have gotten me to do this. Wow, that's amazing. Fight. It's me. Fight. Honestly, you know what he could have done? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wins. Okay, well, that's neat. Dude, that voice sucks. It's really dumb. You disappoint me. The feeling is mutual, brother. Mother would be so proud. You know, you can, you can make him say anything you want in, in the context of this. You can literally just do like this, you know, like this, you know. Hang on, let me let me do some stupid shit for you. Ready, ready. I eat ass. The feeling is mutual. Big booty time now. You know. So. <sighs> I'm just saying it's so dumb. So dumb. Anyway. Uh, yeah, that's it's really dumb. But yeah, I guess I guess some intern at the office said. Yeah, I can do a, a cool voice. Get that guy, get Johnny to do it, you know. Joel will do it. Do you eat ass? 
but um yeah I, i'm not i'm not i'm not uh like a huge fan of the uh the the look of mortal kombat 11 like they, they were going down a path of mortal kombat 10 of it shit just looks too realistic like what the fuck man it just i don't know i, I like when mortal kombat looks very cartoony and i guess you can't have that anymore because it's like you know they want to be taken more seriously but i don't know man like i i enjoy it when like sub zero ass like a giant frozen icicle cock you know i'm i'm just you know no panther no buy all right that's all i'm saying oh neat level up okay well these guys will figure out shit themselves now i need to go it's so muted and grim dark <laughs> i love the word grim dark all right we're gonna go to marana now Uh, oh yeah, I gotta fight first. Okay, let's actually change my spells here. Uh, gonna select Magical Stardust, which is the best spell in the game, and they give you it really early too. But it's it's kind of like a gamble because it's like the shit that rains down on um, on on the enemies. It's it might hit them, they might not. So uh, you know. All right. Ah. ah, ah. Ah. Mortal Kombat 9 had the best colors and some really fun cartoony designs, but damn, the character models had problems. I wish, I wish, like, um, oh, dude, th th these levels are a little stinky. I wish we could have Mortal Kombat 9 graphics with the gameplay of 10, you know? But, um, yeah, so, hey, speaking of Spelunky. Did you hear that somebody actually data mined the Switch port of Mortal Kombat 11 and found files for Joker from DC Comics as a guest character in the DLC? No way. I, I don't know why they keep shoving the Joker into everything. I mean, it's like, are they aware of the memes? I never understood why Spawn, too. Oh, okay. I never understood why people want to play as the Joker. Like, the Joker is more of a, like a string puller rather than like a straight up fighter you know what i mean <laughs> yo this guy has eye nipples <laughs> all right look at cool joker is is it man i gotta say though like mark hamill wasn't he done voice acting the joker and now he's like fucking keep on doing it you know, he, he's everywhere doing Joker fucking in cartoons and games and commercials and shit like he was like he said he was done. And now he isn't anymore. I guess he was pretend done. You know what I think maybe after Last Jedi He didn't have a lot of money left, so he kinda had to <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm not saying that, but Alright, th this boss is a little stinky. It is basically Biolanti from Godzilla. And it's a bit of a weird thing. You gotta like move back and forth. This is giant tentacle that goes right up your, your booty hole if you don't get a little passive with it. It's not a hard boss, but you know, you just gotta basically do this over and over again. But it's nowhere near bad as that Manticore boss, which I hate. Oh, but we can do this now. Check this out. Well. Stardust sure is useful for this boss. Can you please hit? Trust me, it's really good once it hits, but... Okay, thanks. <laughs> yeah, 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 whatever. Uh oh I might, might have a boo-boo here. Thoughts on streaming Godzilla destroy all monsters? I do want to do that. I do want to do that for sure. Alright. PK Starstorm. <laughs> I didn't know Joe liked Godzilla. Oh, I'm a huge Godzilla fan. And literally my apartment is 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 wall to wall of his Godzilla posters. <laughs> 
that and heavy metal and what else do I have here? Uh, I have. I think I have other posters too. Uh, I have Army of Darkness, and I have uh, Big Titty Milfs. No. Anyway, Sir God Howard, Mariana May, Love Her, Lover, Peace, yeah, yeah. Ballmaster, although a beautiful island, Marana is covered with palm trees and seems so small. We destroy some of the palm trees. All right, fine. All right. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So before we do anything, we need to do an earthquake here because um, this game doesn't tell you this up until you built a city, and then they're like, "Hey, destroy everything with an earthquake." But you need to do this now, and this happens. Wow. The magic come to life. Yep, they didn't tell you that post destroying your own city, so uh, that's nice of the game. So now they're introducing marshes and destroying trees, so there's a whole bunch of shit happening for this. Uh, do I hawk or fight a metal slug? I think I did, didn't I? Like years and years ago. I swear to God, I didn't. It's a Metal Slug 3 or something like that? Like, way back. There we go. Let's see here. Let's get some more sun action going on. Oh, I don't have enough MP. Magic power. Magic PP points. Well, that's going on. Let's just start building here. And it should be pretty good to go. The earthquake knocked this connection out for a bit. Alright. Let's see here. Uh, get rid of that guy, the bat. But really, it's, it's the skulls I said earlier that's the worst in this game. They are go and fuck you up. Wait a second, how can the island be at the ocean at... At the north, have cliffs in the middle, and in the south, and still be at the ocean. Oh shit, we have another academic in chat. A mountain man. Oh master, a temple has suddenly appeared in Maran. People are saying they built it to worship you, but I sense something is wrong. Temple is not the only building the monsters have not tried to destroy. It makes me very uneasy. I hope nothing happens. I'm sure nothing will happen. It's fine. That's fine, don't worry about it. Alright. Alright, this guy needs a little, little bit of sun too. Ah, oh, fuck, I... But I just gave some, the grass some sun? Okay. A little too slippy. Marana is supposed to be based off Indonesia, I think. Yeah, it's like that, that warm climate thing going on. Speaking of that, by the way, it's so funny because, you know, I traveled to uh, Indonesia, to Australia, and when I got off the plane uh, from Russia, it's like, th that humid heat wave is like a, a, t a kick in the testicles once you're like, holy shit, what is this country, you know? Uh, and now, do I need anything here? By the way, Russia, it, I, I said this before, but man oh man, that is a really dumb airport. Who the hell builds an airport that doesn't take international MasterCard? No, we only take a local currency. <laughs> you went to Australia? Damn, you've been in a, like a time vortex. I'm in Surface Paradise right now and it's cold as fuck. Really? That's interesting. Alright, well, ow! Yeah, I, I, I was gonna have a Butterbrod in, uh, in Russia, but seriously, my car didn't fucking work, so... It's quite unfortunate, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's cool for Australians, I guess, yeah. Butterbrod! Alright, let's see here, yeah, you guys gonna do this? Aw, oh, thank you. Oh, I, by the way, uh, while I was in Russia, I don't know if this is a bootleg thing, or if it's like a hoo-ha, but 
at the airport, I saw a Budweiser, but for hamburgers. It, this might not be a bootleg at all, but it was called Bud Burgers. Let me show you what it looked like. Now, again, th this might be a real thing. You're like, what, Joel? You're fucking being stupid here. But Bud Burgers in Russia. And it looked like this. Hang on. Uh, I can't even find a picture of this. Bud Burger. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Four square. What's this? Yeah, look, guys. Yeah, but listen, this is just a, a logo they had, but the actual, like, it, it, it has. Well, just, just wait, just wait. I'm not done with this. It looks like this inside and has the Bud logo inside. Now, is this actually like Bud or like, you know, but what, what am I looking at? You know, Bud Burger. <laughs> is it? It's an absolute ripoff? Really? So they were, they were just taking the piss. That's a boot. Like, really? Like, but in the Moscow airport? Bud Burgers. Are they trying to be like, Budweiser, like America, you know, big, big titties, big bear, big bud, big cost, you know. I think it's bootleg. I looked up Bud Burgers and it got animal statue stores. Oh, okay. Hey, Nico. A bootleg bar. That's funny. Well, I didn't eat here, but like, that's, it's funny this that way. My God. Oh, I totally forgot to tell you guys an awkward story. So I actually did get a manage. I, I managed to get. I took out rubles, and I managed because my phone was dying, and I needed a, a USB sync charge cable, right? And I got one from an from a uh, eight not an ATM machine, one of those vending machines for like various things you can select, and uh, <laughs> I got the wrong cable, and I got uh, a iPhone charger cable and I'm like fuck I didn't know what I was getting so I got it out and there was some dude in a tracksuit and I'm like you want this man he's like what I'm like you want this thing because he had his kid with him and I'm like they yeah, give it to your son or whatever and he's like oh it's but <laughs> I'm like you probably don't even have an iPhone but I don't he's like you want it uh, I don't know <laughs> fuck you know What? Uh, нет. Спасибо. Oh, привет. It was like scared. <laughs> I think it was. Uh, I think he assumed that was trying to like rob him, whatever. All right. Many of our people have already turned against our eternal master. I believe the shrine may be the cause of this change, change of heart. It's a problem we must solve on our own. I just thought you should know. Okay. So people are worshiping Satan now. We will not stand for this. We will show you. Th we will show them the way of the light by killing them. <sighs> Santa worshippers. <laughs> okay. Should I get some wheat action going here? Hang on. Do they have anything? Oh, nothing. Okay. Santa, Santa. Religion. I am a god of peace. Now, if you do not like me, I will smite you with thunder and disease. Okay, you are a god of peace. Good. And you better not say anything. No, sir, I am not a god of peace. I am a god of peace. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, we should do this too. Hang on. Uh, the bloody sun. Ever played Age of Mythology? I have, I have, but uh, you know, it's one of those games I I wish I was better at because you know, it's fun. It's very fun. 
Alright, there we go. What am I doing here? Oh yeah, they can't actually go there, that's why. Uh, I gotcha. Seal that shit up, boy! Will I play Resident Evil 4? Yes. Uh, not the next Spooky Saturday game, but at some point I will. But if there's one game I really want to try for Spooky Saturday, is uh, Dead Rising 2. Really loved streaming Dead Rising, and I figured I'd give the sequel a try. You know. Master, because of the many plagues here in Marana, we should never we should we should never be without medical herbs. We present this herb as an offering to you this year. If any other lands suffer from the plagues as we do, please offer this herb to them. Oh, I know what to do now. Alright. Default or off the record? I, I didn't even know the difference on them, but... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You might like off the record since it has Frank West in it. Yes, but I actually streamed Dead Rising 2 years and years and years ago. Um, and had a good time with it, but... You know, I don't I don't like Chuck as much as I do like Frank West. A cover of wars, you know. He's like a nerd. He's like a football playing nerd. Uh, Alright, let's get out of here. Just just for now, so we can heal up on uh, Atos. Off the record is the harder version. Oh, yeah. But, but kudos for, for, to Capcom for even like doing that. The fact that they made an alternative version of the game. You know. GTA 4 in the near future? Uh, I, I can't say, but GTA 4 at some point, yes. Alright, well, well, boys, I, I bring you good gifts, I bring you herb. Oh shit, that's not where I need to go, it's, it's in Casandora. My bad. I swear to god, GTA 4 gave me the worst social anxiety ever. Like, the fact that you have to cho you have to choose between Playboy X and the other guy, and if you choose Playboy X, the other guy is like, Hey man, I'm depressed. Do you want to hang out? And you're like, you're running over grandmas and you're shooting people with rocket launchers. And you're like, uh, no, sorry, bro. I cannot uh, hang out. And fucking, I don't know why Nico sounds like Dracula. And the guy's like, oh shit, that's cool, man. I, You know, I don't have a lot of friends. Love to hang out someday. And you're like, okay, but I need to kill now. Bye. <laughs> I need to drink blood. But it's true. It's like, oh God, the game was getting really bitchy. You know, it was really starting to chastise me for not, like, wanting to play its dumb bowling shit. I mean, even, 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 like, Roman bitching at this is so dumb. You know what's so funny about that choice? I'd rather kill, I'd rather kill him, the depressed guy, because at least the other guy won't bitch to hang out with me. It's <laughs> so like, you know what? Fuck you! Blow him up with a grenade! <laughs> and then I don't have to deal with him! <laughs> just because just I have like social anxiety and I want to hang out. <laughs> God. What a rude, dumb decision. What a very dumb decision. Yeah, players will love doing the same mini mini game bullshit. That will detract from having fun in the game. Doing doing the social stuff with the friends in GTA 4 felt like driving around and doing missions were like having fun time, free time, and then suddenly your job was knocking and be like, you know what? You're having a little too much fun here. Scale it back. You know. Um, you know, in a way, I think, I kind of, I miss GTA 4's detail to things. I think that GTA 5, whilst a great game, it missed a lot of the little tiny bullshit details I like. Like, I like when video games have this Metal Gear Solid aesthetic to them, where, like, there's a lot of shit that doesn't matter, but it's just in the game for the sake of, we put it in there, you know? Like, you know, most people know this, but like, for example, uh, you know, where, uh, what's his, the, the, the Rasta guy, uh, I forget what his name is, but he, whenever he, like, smokes, and you roll down the windshield, the smoke is coming out, you know, it's just tiny things, Jacob, yeah, I like that. 
What's the guy's name? Uh, Krobcat? Uh, he did a comparison thing on that. Hotboxing. Gonna smoke me a fairy biscuit. By the way, we gotta go here because there's something here we need for this. GTA 5 was flawed, good, but flawed. You know, I, you know what? I applaud Rockstar for, uh... Hang on, wait a minute. We found an ancient tablet on the rock at the ancient Grand Drawing. And this is an island that has the same shape as the Grand Drawing. So the tablet, please accept it. Okay. I really commend Rockstar for, like, not just doing a Steam. Doing a Valve. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, guys, we made it. We don't need to make more games. It just generates infinite money. You know what I mean? It's like, fuck! Rockstar's like, you know what? We made GTA 5 and it makes money every single second. But we're still gonna do, you know, Red Dead Redemption 2. I, I, I love Valve, I really do. And maybe I'm talking shit, but... You know... I just wish they would just make some fucking games again. That isn't card games. No, Valve is shit now. I don't know, I don't think Valve is shit, but I think they were better ten years ago, you know. I really have fond memories of, of Valve when... Whenever they released the orange box, Portal was a new thing, and everybody was playing Team Fortress 2, and they were memeing it up with... with the Team Fortress crew, you know, with, with you know, heavy videos and YouTube poops, and... I kinda miss those days when everything was just kinda... Well, Valve can do nothing wrong, and now people are like... Valve, do something! <laughs> you know... PUT THIS! I, I used to play a lot on, on this one map, on Team Fortress 2 community map, called Mario underscore Kart. And it was just this meme zone. And it had the butthole surfers in it. Someone was in my room last night, that jiggity ga ba I used to play Sniper on that map, and just like, take pot shots across the map. It's a great fucking map. YouTube poops are still funny. They even made a made a few based on your stream. They, who is they? Jesus. <laughs> okay, I'm almost up to three thousand here, so that's great. According to Gabe's son, <laughs> what? According to Gabe's son, they're working on brain implants now, and they want to do both hardware and software. Okay, first of all, what do you mean, Gabe's son? Gablet? <laughs> Who? Gabe Jr. What? <laughs> what? Gabe Newell's child. <laughs> what? What? His name is Gray. Okay, first of all, what the fuck do you mean they want to do brain implants? That reminds me of that, uh... What was that one show that's called, like, uh... Th Think Tank? No, no, no. Shark Tank. <laughs> Think Tank. It's the one where this one guy that shows up, and they're like, Okay, what's your idea? Yeah, I wanna implant a Bluetooth adapter in your ear through surgery. And they're like, what? And he's like, yeah, you stick this, uh... 10-inch, uh... rod in your ear every night. Inside your flesh. To charge it. And they're like, what the fuck? And he's like, yeah, it's, it's really nice. <laughs> Look it up, it's like crazy. Anything that involves like surgery for entertainment, I, I say maybe not. Okay. He talked about it on a podcast, I can email it to you. Well, why is his son talking for him? Why can't like Gabe come out of his Oculus Rift cum zone and just like talk to the people for once? Like, get him out of the office! Make make a fucking public statement. Stop stop fucking your anime waifu or whatever, you know? Get out of the got get out of the cryostasis. Whatever the fuck they're doing at Valve. Just get out! Do something, cat! <laughs> you know? Gabe is busy making knives. As I said, man, I he doesn't need to do anything, man. He's he's done. Alright, uh, let's see here. Take an offering. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, don't have anything. Alright. I'm out of here. 
Joel, in Thief Rose, this used to be people who spammed uh, vine sauce memes on voice chat, including you, Joel, always on Mario Kart map servers. Imagine, like, finding your own, like, sampled voice. Be like, I'm the real one. <laughs> I used to do. I have a, I, I, I do this thing maybe sometimes. Sometimes I, I tend to go into random Discord servers that have like nothing to do with me. And uh, I go I only go there when there's one guy in the chat is idling. And they're always like playing techno music like in the background. And I go in there and I yell at him and I go, turn the fucking music down, I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> and uh, this happened not so well. It happened a while ago, but um, it wasn't that long ago. But anyway, there was a guy in the server, and I'm like, "Turn the fucking music down!" And he's like, "What? What the fuck?" Because he knew me. And I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, you, you've been playing music all night, and I can't sleep." And he's like, "What the fuck? What the, what the fuck?" He thought it, I thought he thought it was a soundboard, you know? <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> what do I think of the Steam versus Epic Store thing? Well, I mean, there's always going to be com competition between stores. But I'll say this uh, this is just a general statement about this. I hate the fact that all these companies have their own thing, quote unquote. And what I mean with that is. Gabe Newell was the one who coined this, but people only pirate because it's inconvenient. If people get, I'm not. I'm, this is not verbatim, but this is the gist of what he's trying to say. But or did say what I'm. I'm trying to say is what Gabe was describing is if you give the people a good platform to like use their shit on, they won't resort to piracy. You know. Now that people are doing fucking Netflix, they're doing HBO, they're doing. Uh, God knows fucking all these all these things there's like 10 different Netflix streaming services and they all have their shows and their shows and their shows and their shows and it's making people not want to fucking watch it because they rather pirate and have everything convenient when it's not convenient that's when people pirate you know it's not that people don't want to pay money you know it's more so that people being jerked around if Steam doesn't get enough games, and Epic wants games, and Ubisoft U Store wants games, and fucking EA store shit, people are gonna fucking pirate because they don't wanna sit around and have fucking 10 to 15 different accounts and play. They wanna just have everything convenient in one place. So, watch this shit go on for a while, and then people and the game companies are gonna go like, why are people pirating? You know? Like, they don't understand that jerking customers around for all these subscription services, it's it's bad, but they don't understand that. You know? Um, I don't know. Get out of here. Shoo. Alright, we gotta, we gotta do something here. I forgot about that. Out of here. You out of here too. What's the point of this game? The point of this game is you play as uh, as Ronald here. Now Ronald has 15 different magic cubes. These magic cubes will scatter across the uh, the island of Narancia. Now what you need to do is there's Around 20 to 23 little mini games, we need to juggle uh, these kind of chicken sized balls. Uh, and you need to go between the Oogle Flocks inside the Hypercube. You need to then go inside between and in the fourth dimension, find God. With God's power, you can now invent the power of corn. And that's the goal. Alright, anyway. 
I, lo I love when people say, what's the point of this? <laughs> Alright. Out of here. Okay, what did I find? Uh, my master, we have found a strange bow. Okay, neat. Alright. Uh. Anyway, what was I saying? So this came out in 91 in North America. Um, what else came out in 91? That was like... A, a big, big thing. God, it's, it's so funny, you know. Uh, I did Super Mario World. This was like, almost like a launch game for Super Nintendo, wasn't it? Sonic came out. Oh yeah, 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 that's true. But you know what's funny? I swear to God, like, no, the year 91 to 93, 4, that's when everything came out. Like, movie-wise, you have, like, Jurassic Park, Back to the Future, uh, I would say, like, mid-80s to, like, you know, mid-90s. Those 10 years was fucking explosive, you know? Just fucking movies came out so frequently, you know? But then I would say, Video games also had this incredible boom in in the early 2000s. Like, you all remember that? I, I always show the um, yeah, Terminator 2, for example. Um, I always show the PlayStation 2 magazine that it's like, coming this December, uh, Devil May Cry, Final Fantasy X, uh, Metal Gear Solid 2, uh, Eco, like, you know. All these fucking games. It's like, holy shit. Um, but it's true. It's crazy. All right, let's do this. You know what's funny? Uh, if you look at really early PlayStation Two games, they 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 try the hardest to impress you with, "Wow, look at all these wireframes and all these you know adv advanced water physics and shit like that." And then like once a console goes beyond, like, that baby step shit, they kind of just crack their knuckles and go, ah, now I can relax and just cheap it out. <laughs> you know? Like, m m sort of late into the uh, lifespan of a, a console, that's when it gets lazy and they're just like, ah, whatever. We don't need to impress anybody anymore. <laughs> lazy. If you watch, uh, oh, not the fucking rain, what am I doing? If you look at the, uh, like, one of those PlayStation 2 demo discs, early ones that came with this bundle with the software, it's very much like, look at these graphics. And the gameplay isn't, like, the best, but they're really trying to sell you on the fact that you bought a next-generation console, you know? Alright, is there anything I'm missing here? Uh, the jump from PlayStation 1 to PlayStation 2 was amazing. Oh yeah, definitely. I would say... I would say the PlayStation 2 really, like... I guess this is only me speaking out of pure nostalgia, but for me, man, like... You know, you know the N64 lost that console war? Like, the PlayStation 1 destroyed the N64 in terms of sales because of CDs were cheap to manufacture and it just, you know... Games costed list, but whatever. Uh, I was gonna say my own preference in that is that the N64 was way better game wise. And I know it's like there's a lot of good PlayStation titles, but for me, just you know. But when it came to the PlayStation 2 era, like 2000s, the fucking PlayStation 2 destroyed everything else. I love GameCube. But man, once you had a place in two, it was fucking, you were done. Like, you, you were set, you know? Metal Gear, you had fucking GTA, had goddamn Tekken, you had, like, good lord. And you had a fucking DVD player too, so, trying to convince your parents to tell them, tell them you can watch movies on this. Man, you were sold. You know? What is the PlayStation 2's, like, greatest game? I mean, I would say, like, Vice City, San Andreas, GTA especially. 
but Final Fantasy X, uh, Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3, Soul Calibur, Devil May Cry, um, fuck, so many good games. But you know what? You know what is the greatest thing about the PlayStation 2? There's a lot of forgotten bullshit on it. There's a lot of like, you know, everybody rants and raves about the Wii shovelware these days. About oh, here's like Pizza Ninja that was costed a buck. But what I love about the PlayStation 2, there's a lot of forgotten turds. Like there's a lot of like, you know, for example, I guess Altered Beast remake from Sega that sucked. A lot of like weird shit nobody remembers, you know. <laughs> Sir God Howard, no one seems to be here. Could it be that these two have also had their hearts drawn away by the evil powers? Sir God Howard, you must enter the shrine and fight to save your people. Eh? Fine. I'll do it. Rise from your grave. Alright, let's do this. Save us, Todd. That's that's why I really want to do like a more PlayStation 2 madness, because uh, it's just the library on the PlayStation 2 is everybody knows the good games, but there's a lot of like just forgotten jank on it that I really like. Yeah, yeah this fucking level, by the way, this this level is is a little 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 spicy, but it's not horrible. What is, what is, it's a, it's a giant, angry snake man. <laughs> Alright, well, so, wait, do I go in here? Okay. Oh my god, it's him! Jesus, fuck it. Oh god, that's so scary. Have nightmares every night. Well, okay, that, <laughs> that sure worked in my favor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like speedrunning the level unintentionally. Uh oh. Oh, neat. <laughs> Man, I'm doing like super progress on this level. How? I'm not complaining. Oh, this is a Grim Reaper. Grim Reapers. Oh, fuck. Guys, I'm actually <laughs> speedrunning the level here. Is this the boss? Or yes, it is the boss! Guys, check this out. I'm just gonna cheese. I'm just gonna cheese. And the cheese is not going so well, holy shit. Come on, hit him! One more, one more! Come on! Fuck, I have to do it the regular way now. Shit, alright. Gonna do a thing here, okay. Oh shit! Come on, drop it down, drop it down, man. See the the, the ceiling is spikes here, so I gotta really watch out. Oh shit! Oh! Oh! I'm gonna die if he hits me, man. But you know what? I did it first try! <laughs> yeah! Now, I won't be able to cheese it like that when we do it on the boss rush, so... Just... You know, gotta be aware. Yeah! Yeah! That was really fucking quick. Really, like, that That level was, like, done. I know it's unexpected, but our people in my own want to tell you. Alright, what is it? Cultivating the land of Marana was a difficult task for us. No matter how many homes we seemed to build, monsters came and destroyed them. In the midst of all our troubles, a man of eloquence appeared. He assured that by becoming the monster's followers, trouble and hardship would be eliminated from our lives. Alas, we were deceived by his words. I realized how susceptible human beings are. All of us learned a very important lesson from this experience. What? That poo poo smelly? What? We will never betray you again. Oh, that's right. We can now carry on without your help. Please help other lands find the peace we now have in Marana. Okay. 
Oh yeah, there's a thing here I can do. I'm gonna get this. And then we're gonna do this. I know it's unexpected where people and want to tell you. Okay, what is it? An ancient tablet has fallen from the sky, and instructed by this tablet, we shall investigate the bird-shaped island. Oh shit, before we do that, we gotta actually do this, I remember. We gotta burn this very specific part. Or otherwise they're gonna get lost or something. Here they come! Good. Good. Am I planning on doing a Yakuza stream in the near future? Um, well, after playing Shenmue, I want to do uh, Fist of the North Star uh, Lost Paradise. And after that, maybe, maybe Yakuza 0. Maybe. Alright. What is it, my children? So, wh why is it that Zero is so much better than Kiwami? Like, wh what makes it the better game? Karaoke for days. Disco, you can play as Goro. Stronger story. Better story. I, you know, I, I, I might get some shit for this, but I felt Kiwami... Or Yakuza 1 in particular. It has a really splintered story. Like, it's very, uh... You know... I feel... You know... Just a lot of stuff is happening at once, and it's just like, whoa, you know... Um... Now you're right. Yakuza 0 story is a lot better. Mind you, it was made, like, years after Yakuza 1. Um... It's hard to juggle a narrative with an open world. I guess so, yeah, but, you know. GTA seem to do it fine, though. <laughs> Alright. Um... So, what's, the, what's their point in this, or... Uh, nothing to offer, huh? Okay. Neat, though. Alright, I'm, I'm sure I missed something here, but I'm gonna take a move on. Because we need to get to the, uh... The big boy place in uh, Northwall. Northwall sucks, by the way, just so you know. Um, that's where you gotta get the, the fleece, because it's cold. But literally all the enemies in Northwall here is just the skull you saw earlier. They suck. Alright. But the music is kind of nice. Oh, not the birds! It's him. <clears throat> what about God Hand? What about God Hand? I streamed it years ago. Really enjoyed God Hand, though. <laughs> actually, you know what? I actually went back, like, off stream and I played a little bit of God Hand, and I'm like, I'm amazed how better I got throughout those streams towards the end. I wasn't, I was never good at it, mind you, but, like, I was trying it off off stream, like, dude, this game is fucking. Really is difficult to like play after a while. <laughs> this is going fine. You like God Hand? Why not try it God Feet? You got some God Feet right here, baby. <laughs> Sounds like Chrono Trigger. There's some very battle toadsy blocks that's coming ahead in this level. Ah, uh, no, no HP, huh? All right. Oh, I gotta ride on this thing. Oh. Like some health now. A uh, one up. Well, it's not exactly what I wanted, but I'll take it. Hoots! <laughs> okay. Three health. Can I survive? God damn, you piece of shit! Why can't God walk on water, but Jesus can? Because, um... I got boots on, I'm not walking with my feet, obviously. Okay, I'm gonna get... Oh my god. No! Oh. 
Well, listen, I have more health now, so I should have needed it. Alright. This is demonic water, not regular water. What's oh, like alcohol? <laughs> hey Joel, I'm thinking of getting into JoJo. How would I start? Uh, I don't know. Watch the watch the part one anime, I guess. Watch all of ba Phantom Blood, and if you still like it, then uh, I say keep watching. And uh, you know, but uh, the real answer is uh, skip parts. Skip parts. That's a great idea. Skip parts and then be then be confused about it, and then uh, you know. <laughs> oh, watch it! Watch it! Uh, dubbed on uh, Adult Swim too. Do that. Th that's a great idea. Watch this. Oh, almost. Okay. Nice. The timing on that is impeccable. And I'm dead now. Fuck. The dub isn't that bad, actually. Well, yeah, but, you know. I, I, I laugh a lot when whenever I hear... Listen, I, I love James Rolfe a lot, AVG, and I watch so much cinematic... Cinematic stuff, but... Uh, <clears throat> man, my fucking voice is giving out. Um, oh my god, hang on. Uh, just give me a second. Okay, there we go. Um, no, I was gonna say, um, I love James Rolfe so much. But he made a really dumb... Well, I mean, this is his opinion. But he said that uh, he was watching Godzilla movie, and so like he said, "I don't want to. I don't want to read when I'm watching a movie. I want to watch a movie." <laughs> I'm talking about dubbing versus subbing, essentially. <laughs> I don't want to read, <laughs> which is so true at some cases, you know. But I don't know, man. You know what's really weird? Like I watch movies with closed captions because. Some movies, like, I I can't hear what they're saying even on speakers. I'm like, oh, what's that? You know, it's not like my, my hearing is bad, but, you know, I, used, I like to watch movies without hurting my ears sometimes or, like, disrupting the peace of, of others. So it's just like, you know, I just, like, I want to watch something that's good, you know, but also not sacrifice anything for it. Nice. Ice bat. Fuck me up. And then God got bit in the nipple by an ice bat. And the end? And God was dead. Shit. Oh, I saw I saw a fruit bat in, in Australia. They're kind of huge. Oh, shit, boss already? Alright. Who is this? I don't know who he is, but he's going down. See what I told you about the uh, the magic here? I wonder if I can kill him entirely with Stardust. Nah, hang on. Oh, yes, 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 it's happening! <laughs> okay, well... God has cheesed it once again! Gorgonzola, Pepper Jack, Act Racer. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Hydro Storm. Hydro Storm. Cheddar cheese. All right. <clears throat> yeah. yeah well, what do you guys want? Well, land North World is covered with snow. Please use the warmth of the sun to melt the snow. We long to see the green of the plateau. All right, yeah, yeah. All right, so now I have everything. I did this in the right. Uh, I did not sequence break this. Like you, you not sequence breaking, but I didn't do it out of order. So now I have everything that I need for this. All right, but this is the hardest area of the game. This part sucks because, uh, yeah. Well, quite frankly, um, there's skulls everywhere, and it is just annoying as hell. Why are people memeing about global warming? Clearly, God allows it. 
Oh, here he is. Here he is, I told you. Uh. Take this out, by the way, a secret. I know it's unexpected, but our people had something to tell you. Oh, what is it? I found a strange jewel a few days ago, but didn't offer it to you because I was so fond of it. I promise to never do anything like that again. I present this jewel to you now as an offering. Please forgive me. <laughs> oh, neat. A source of life. We have been given an extra life from fighting monsters. Well, that's just neat. Smite him, boys. Send him to hell. You have betrayed God. Talk less so you can stream longer. Well, there's probably just two more hours of this game left, and then, then I'm gonna kick its ass. Alright, let's see here. There we go. You know, sometimes I just wanna lean back and watch a movie, and I just don't think about what can agree with James Rolfe at that point, but that doesn't mean I hate subtitles or anything. Um. No, I, I'm I'm just saying I, I like reading with some movies because uh, you know this some piece of dialogue and stuff that's a little lost sometimes. You know, I don't know. Unfortunately, nothing happens. Sounds a lot like a stream that I do. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this. Please enable subtitles on your stream. You know what's funny about that? Sometimes I watch my own stream and uh, on YouTube with um, auto-generated closed captions and I'm disturbed how accurate it is sometimes with me. But then I say shit like and it's just like nice hairy ass in the, in the closed captions. I'm like, what the hell? Alright, let's see here. The rain, not the rain, what am I doing? I need the sun. Close enough. Do you remember how bad the the uh, closed captions on YouTube used to be with the subtitles? <laughs> it was so good. It was always like a like a big joke. Like what the fuck? But it, it's pretty good now. Oh fuck! See, that's what happens. That's what happens. We don't take care of this shit. Uh, uh, I'm just taking care, taking care of this first, because I know. Um, yeah, I fucking hate this part. I really, really do. Out. Wait, I, I have bombs, don't I? You can kind of abuse the the AI a little bit by standing in the corner here, but okay, that's another monster lair. I'm just gonna keep on going here. Cheese them. But yeah, if I leave too many roads open, they will destroy that if I don't, you know, tend to it immediately. I did auto translate for your first April stream and some interesting things came up. At one point you were talking to, talking in your snow speak about turning a control knob and it got translated as clitoral marrow ash. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Okay. What, what the fuck do you mean, snow speak? That's, that's, that's insensitive. Oh, we ha had a lot chirp? I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what causes that. Alright. There we go. I got some more of the sun. Big area, by the way, so... Lot of shit to do. But they can't destroy my town city, so that's fine. What's my favorite video game? Possibly Dwarf Fortress or um uh, uh fuck what is my favorite game. Dwarf Fortress or um Ski Free or uh Tetris 3000 on DOS. <laughs> I don't know, man. I Plumbers don't wear ties. Oh shit, okay. Well, I'll just keep up warming up areas. Um, no, they, they, I have a lot of favorites, but the thing is, I'm very 
I change my opinion always, because it's like, it depends what I'm in the mood for, you know? Because sometimes you're like, what's your favorite food? You know? It's like, sometimes you're just like, I fucking, I want a burrito right now. Joel, how do you generally act when people recognize you in person from your voice and stuff? Uh, I, I, I immediately change accent into a really weird foreign one. Wait a minute. I think I recognize you from YouTube. No, I am not that guy. I play the tuba and I like to eat sorted meat. Oh, sorry. Okay, I thought you sounded like someone else. No. Oh, never mind. He's just a fucking moron. But if they knew anything about that, they probably. But wait a minute, you are that dickhead. You're just trying to trying to do a voice. No, I, I, I'm only. You better go away from here before I hurt you. Okay. There we go. I'm almost done with this shit. Too. More chirps? I don't know what the fuck's doing that. I'm. I'm really sorry, guys. I have to edit this stuff up on YouTube. Maybe the chirping is from the fucking game. Is it a sun ability? Probably. Maybe it's something out of the emulation. I don't know. All right. Sorry. Sorry for still doing this bullshit, but. Uh... Who am I gonna main in Mortal Kombat 11? Probably Scorpion. I I just pick Scorpion. Oh, Baraka, Baraka, for sure. Because Mortal Kombat 2. It is from the game, but it's not every time you use a SNES game have caused chirps and a lot of other streams. Oh, okay. Vinny had this problem with Earthbound. Oh, yeah. There we go. Sir God Howard, I know it's unexpected, but are people in the North Pole? Yeah, 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 yeah. My master, I think I see the semblance of a lake underneath all the eyes. You plan to operate a fishery here at North Wall. Thank you, my master. The people can now live here in peace. All right, let's kick some ass, finally. Good Lord, look at this bullshit. Oh, yeah, I gotta... I gotta use a bridge ability here, right? Or is it... Do the other have... No... Oh, well, first of all, first of all, we need to go and get this monster layer seal first. Oh, God, this is gonna suck. I'm gonna try to get, take care of the skulls, but... No, please, those are my wheats, Mr. Skull. Mr. Skellington, please! Not my wheats! <laughs> no! Look how much damage he does. It's insane! Oh, there's more! Oh no, I can't do nothing. I'm I'm so weak. Fuck. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Here, I've been talking about the goddamn um this Super Bowl ability. Now it's time to fucking use those, man. That's right, now now you oh, damn it. Okay. More more health, please. More health, please. Well, that's what happens, man. I told you. Okay. Neat. What is it? Strange arrows. Yeah, yeah, okay. I am sinister. And give me some health, please. <sighs> Wait, what? A scroll? Oh, that's cool. Finally! Oh no, he's gonna do it! Stop him! <laughs> now I can actually fight these skulls. Oh, what is it now? The cold air is so harsh that the people are unable to live without ordinary clothing. Well, thank fucking god, because I have the thing just for it. There we go. Oh, magical light. Take this too. Here's another spell that you can get, but it's not very good. Honestly, the, the Stardust thing is the best in the game. Oh shit, I actually gotta go back and find that thing in Atos. Alright. 
Did I see Searle's new cartoon? Yeah, I have. I know about it. This is like the third time I talked about this. We will be checking it out at the end of the stream, but... Uh, Yeah, Zural makes amazing stuff, and I, I I love I love Zural stuff. That it's just so good. I know it's happy, happy, joy, joy. By the way, All right, not this one. It's this one, and then they're going now. They're all warm again. Keep building up here. Thank you. Happy, happy, Joel, Joel, happy, happy, Joel, Joel! Anxious, anxious, Joel. Isn't that the guy who made the He-Man Pizza animation? Oh, yes. Alright, what is it now, guys? My master, did you know that there is a large new tree growing in Northwest out of here? The other day, two of us went to the mighty tree. At the trunk of the tree, we found something very interesting. There were two initials carved into the tree. These initials prove that people inhabited this land a few thousand years ago. We also discovered a scroll hidden near the trunk of the tree. Please accept it. Another god! Fools! Two initials. PP. <laughs> All right, strange statue. All right, cool. Thanks. Jesus, could you stop? Oh, master, we now understand how to build bridges. Oh, neat. All right, now that we got this, let's do. The oh, they already know how to do it. Okay. And while you guys are doing this, you guys go down and do that. You guys kind of get the uh, the gist what this game's all about, huh? And while they're doing this, you should. Uh, Go there and do that. Thanks. Jesus, could you stop? <laughs> I, I I didn't even make that a pun. Ay ay ay. Okay, listen here, dick gas skeleton. Thanks. Finally, this dragon can fuck off too. Ay 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 ay. Okay, there we go. This is the last area in the game, by the way. Uh, beyond when I beat, bleh, I beat this boss, which is an ice dragon. There's only one thing that remains, and that's a boss rush. And then we're done with the game. So, you know, I've really made this look really easy, and I kind of apologize because it just this game looks piss easy w when I play it, but it's not. You gotta be here for like nine hours, just scratching your head, going, "What the hell?" You know. Alright, that should be all of it. Uh, easy, boys. There we go. Ooh. What is it now? A monster has appeared from the mighty tree. The mighty old tree is our symbol of North Wall. Simply gazing upon it, upon it steers the emotions within us. Oh, master, please save our symbol of North Wall. Come down and drive the monsters away. Yeah, 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 I will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, so they won't build anything in the meantime. All right, fine. Fine, I'll go do it. Yep. You, you had to play through a game multiple times to be able to beat it back in the day? Yeah, I mean... With video games back in the day, I hate to say this, but there was way less to do in your free time. So playing a game over and over and over again, it was quite different back then, you know? It wasn't like, you know, today where you're like, I used to watch up the YouTube ending. But, by the way, this level is ass. I hate it. There's gonna be a lot of deaths here. I'm just saying. I never really figured out the pattern of the enemies. It, it, it's, they're quite random at times, and it's... Yeah. Just bear with me. Guys, Star Wars music. <laughs> Great value. Great value Star Wars. Oh, that sounds like something I would do. 
Don't give me any ideas. Don't give me any goddamn ideas, alright? Damn it! I told you how much this place sucks. Ooh. Ooh. Oh! Oh, it hurts. It really hurts. What, what if I just run through it then? Oh god, this is like chicken wings. There's everything coming. My oh my god, one health. Ah! Okay, that one. Good. Good and nice. Satan sent goddamn birds with caterpillars after God. Alright. This is really not the, the worst of it, too, because I still have to fight this ice dragon boss, and it is... It is very irritating. But I love the graphics here. It's 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 very uh I said this, but the environment in Act Racer, they're also very different. It's, fuck, is that health? Is that health? You bet it is. Just a little health, actually. What the hell? Can I make it all the way up there? No, I cannot. I gotta Oh fuck. You know what? Invincibility frames, go! I still took a little bit of health. All right. What else, man? Eyeballs coming your way. Like, what is all this? Okay, we're gonna quickly get through this. Hopefully. Shit! Blue balls! Snowballs! <laughs> oh! Caterpillar from hell. Okay, there we go. Ooh, just keep on going, keep on going. We're almost there. We're almost there. Ooh! Fuck it. I could be using this on the boss, but I'd rather just get through. Okay, this this part is also a little. Mm. I need to ride on these bubble balls, and it's mm, you'll see. And all shit's going on. Oh god. Oh lord. Okay, thanks. Oh, I really needed that. I don't need this caterpillar though. Great value, Star Wars. Ah! <laughs> oh, god damn, I hate this part. Just please. Music is so infuriating with the gameplay. Okay, you stand there and you don't do nothing, alright? Alright, we're gonna get through this, chat. Okay, boss time. Let's blow everything early. Okay, give me another one. Fuck, I only have one chance of doing this. Okay. Where is he? Oh, God. Okay. Come on! Yes, blessed! Oh! Oh! One more! Oh, oh my God. Good gravy. Good gravy. Oh! We're fine. We're fine. Okay. Last area of the game. When you destroy the final monsters, the, the demon Tansra's island emerged from the depths of the ocean northwest of here. Tansra is underground waiting for his final battle with the master. Alright, All right, let's go, Sir God Howard, to the haunted land this time! Okay, but before we do that, though, it is time... It is time to destroy our peoples. <laughs> oh, what's that? You guys You guys want to still have some shit buildings? Or, okay. Okay. Guys, question. I'll let you guys know. Should I make an earthquake happen and so we have maximum health? Or should we kind of do it on half cheese health? Don't do it. Please, no. Earthquake. 
earthquake it is. You guys are cruel. And there you go. Well, actually, the, the shitty buildings were the ones that knocked down. Oh I, oh, I thought everything was gonna get knocked down. Well, excuse me for... ...talking shit about the game. Maximum power. Boys, you hurry up. Shitty buildings go down. Alright, we're gonna do this, and then we're gonna kick Satan's ass. Tandra. Why so curl? Why so curl? <laughs> Might take a while to do this though. <laughs> oh yeah, we should get the bird thing. But I think the bird thing is just like another spell that I want to eat. Is there a post end game? No, the game kind of just ends, you know? It's a little unfortunate, but uh, you know. Uh, guys, you want to hurry up here or... Uh They're not doing it. <laughs> Guys, hurry up, please. <laughs> hurry up. Oh, now, now they're kind of doing it slowly. Uh, but what was I saying? Oh, uh, yeah, somebody pointed this out in chat, but there is a sequel to this, but it's... it's they, they took all the city building shit out of it, and... It's just... Makes me sad, man, because th this- I love this stuff. Okay, they're racing the cities one by one. Slowly. <laughs> oh yeah, while you're playing this, is there any chance you'll ever stream black and white, the PC game? I, I talked a little bit about black and white earlier in the stream, and... Um, I love black and white, but... I only played the sequel, and... I don't like the moral choices in black and white, too, because you- you're, at some point, you are forced to be evil and destructive, and I wanted to do a peaceful creature all the way through, but the game kind of, like, scolds you for that. It's like, at some point, it wants you to start killing, you know? And I'm like, well, this contradicts what I've learned about the game. You know, two did suck. Was Black and White 1 better? Yes, no, very. I think it is. Uh, black and white one was better, but still a disappointment. Oh, yeah. Wasn't there like some weird thing where black and white did not run on modern PCs? Like you had to do some computer wizardry to like get it working or something. I, I, I forget. I remember seeing Black and White in PC Gamer. Oh my god, I haven't bought PC Gamer in years! I'm, I'm surprised PC Gamer still exists. Like, you know... Fucking... Magazine... I'm surprised that gaming magazines exist. Maybe not in America, but it does in, uh, in Europe. And, um... Uh, man, I, when I was like 10 or 11 or whatever, buying gaming magazines was the shit. Because you're like, wow, dude. Interview interviews with people and developers. I don't know their fucking names. I don't know what they do, but it's exciting to read. You know. Okay, they're slowly hurrying up, but uh, you know. I know I asked this many times, but is it possible for you to stream Fallout One anytime? Oh yeah, Fallout One at some point because I talk about it a lot. You know. <clears throat> This is gonna do this part, then we're gonna go down and... Uh... Is that all of them, though? I think that might be it, yeah. So we're, we're at maximum Fillmore. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is so shitty tonight. It's so raspy, it's so dry, man. Ugh. Okay. <clears throat> Have I thought about playing Demon's Crest as for a one-off or something? Um, yeah, sure, it's- this game is a bit Demon's quest E. Okay, so what is the next, uh, level up here? It is... 307, okay, so... This one house, please. You guys... Focus on this- this one place. Uh, could you? Please? 
Remove trees for f more land. Oh, no, no, no. Th these trees I can't destroy. Look. Yep. Whatever, man. Have you played Sekira yet, Joel? No, no, I haven't played it yet. Um, I, I think I saw Vinny stream it for like 10 seconds. <laughs> I had to go do some stuff, but uh, he streamed that game, right? Yeah, he did? Okay. Alright, well, listen, this is taking a little too long, so I'm gonna go to another place. What about... Cassandra? Here we go. Oh yeah, this this place can definitely be improved if I do this. I feel a little bit bad for my peoples, but uh, oh my god, that was a lot of shit buildings! Wow. Yeah, sorry I ruined everything, guys, but uh... You know, all in the name of progress. <laughs> Monster. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. It seems like we just take a fucking while, you know? Oh, there's Teddy. Look, Teddy and his dog. I'm glad Teddy survived my angry, dickish earthquake. Remember when I played Shenmue? Yeah, I remember those days. <laughs> Use lightning on the rock. Oh, you mean here? Oh, yeah, that's true. I, can, I should do that. Okay. Hey, Varskelter member. I remember too. There we go. And this leads me where? Oh, nothing happened. Okay. I remember. Okay, keep on doing this shit. Okay. John, if you, I don't know if you already answered this a million times. Any plans for streaming at least of the painful? Or is it not stream friendly? I, I, I don't know what stream friendly stuff is, but um, as long as it's not like Semen Inferno Poop Quest 5, uh, you know, I'm fine streaming it. Um, I mean, there, there's some games I don't want to stream, yes, I don't like, you know, because I play them before and I know it wouldn't be a good stream, but um, yeah, at least at some point, because, uh, you know, I've teased it for a long time, you know, and I gotta get to it eventually. You know. <clears throat> Morrowind stream. Morrowind stream. It's a lot of fucking games I want to do, you know? But I have to... I have to really pace myself for these games because... I, I don't want to force games that are just, like, highly requested because, you know... Yeah, I get a little cranky, <laughs> you know? Um, let's see here. Uh, Joel, what games aren't you going to stream? Well, I'm, I will not be streaming... Um, Let's see here. Uh, what games won't I be streaming? Yeah, don't don't expect um, don't expect uh, like Persona five streams from me or um, Fortnite. I guess maybe when Fortnite is a hundred years old and I live in a hypercube, I'll be like, it is time to play an ironic game from hundred years ago. And your guys are like, yay, ha 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 ha, you know, maybe then. Brutal Legend, ah, uh, maybe Brutal Legend at some point. That's a restream, but I don't know. Ha 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 ha, funny, funny, ha ha ha. Maybe, maybe if next like charity incentive, I'll stream restream, uh, Brutal Legend to just like see how much I hate it again. Do you like the idea of streaming games that you've never played before? Uh, well, that's most of the times I'm streaming, right? Um, generally, it's more games I'm going into blind, because... You know, when I'm playing shit like this and I'm making it look easy, it's because I've played these games before, you know? Oh my god, it's taken forever! Jesus, you come on, guys! Do you guys need some more corn or something? Will I stream other three? At some point, yes. Um, but I kind of want to do other RPGs first. I really want to do an old school Final Fantasy. I wanted to do Final Fantasy 2 or something. 
And again, I've, I've, I've talked about Final Fantasy a hundred times, but you know, I, I, th that game is so funny to me. So funny. <laughs> okay, it's almost up to 3,700, and once that happens, I'm gonna actually move on to the boss. Ever done Wasteland? Oh, I've done Wasteland. Um, I did it on a MSX Madness, I believe. You know. <clears throat> Even if you stream yourself watching watching paint dry, I will enjoy it. So thank you for the answer about Lisa. Yeah, like I I don't wanna promise too many things because I don't like letting people down, but you know, um If there's one game I really wanna stream at some point and it's gonna be really ridiculous, it's Final Fantasy VII. I never played Final Fantasy VII. It's one of those like legendary games I have no like knowledge of. I mean, I do. I know everything that happens, you know. Um, but I don't. I have never played it, you know. I've played more Final Fantasy VIII and IX than I have played Seven, which is like really bizarre. I I have played more Crystal Chronicles than I have played Seven, <laughs> you know. Fuck, my voice is so dry. Do you mind if I go fucking get a Pepsi, Jesus? Oh, fuck me. Celebration. Seven did not age well, and it's largely overrated. Yo, all video games are fucking overrated. You know what game isn't overrated? Pong. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here and do this. Alright, so, let's go kick the boss's ass. Before we do that, let's see let's see how well we are doing with um, the score here. Uh, <clears throat> Fillmore uh, cities. Here we go. Eight hundred. Eight is doing pretty bad, actually. I can do way more. Marana's doing pretty bad too. Max. Fillmore's max. Slow. Normal. Shit. Um, Marana is slow. I can get that. Northwell is really bad. It just takes such long bullshit to do this, you know? I guess I'll get Northwall. But Northwall doesn't even have half of the stuff. That's why it's being terrible. Let's fix that shit up. Oh, what do you guys want? Oh, thanks. Okay. Ever, ever streamed Return of Wolfenstein? I did stream... Uh, guys, what was the what was the Wolfenstein game that came out like a couple years ago, the remake? What was it called? Just Wolfenstein. New Order, yeah, I streamed New Order, but the one that came before that, uh, Return of Wolfenstein, uh, Return to Castle. I never pl played that, but I want to because it looks badass. All right, that's a lot of health, by the way. Hey, you guys gotta move on, please. <clears throat> Castle Woof. <laughs> oh, man. Alright. Castle Meow. Damn, Fade, you've been saying... If I go back in the chat, you've been saying the same thing, like... 25 times for the past three hours. Goddamn, dude. Um, dedication. See, they, they wanted me to acknowledge what they were saying, but I did it in the wrong way. <laughs> you know, it's a monkey paw thing. Joel will notice you, but it'll also, like, make you feel bad. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Okay, there we go. So basically, I'm monkey. Alright, there we go. Dog's still there. Guys, after... What is what is the new Pokemon game called? Pokemon 
Blade and Pokemon... Uh, no, Pokemon Sword and Pokemon uh, Gun. No, not seriously, what is it called? Sword and Shield. Guys, new one, Pokemon Woof and Pokemon Meow. And then the third Ultimate game comes out, it's gonna be Pokemon Kaka Kaka. Joel, how does it feel? Joel, how does it feel to not only influence memes but also be a living meme? Uh, honestly, I'm 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 happy. I'm happy I can make people laugh and not make people fucking depressed, like some memesters. <laughs> I'm I'm just glad to be some dickhead that can make you know people that come home after nine to five and just like hey I, I want to watch some some video games you know. That's all I care about. No, I hate it! It is a curse! Every day, I wither from the darkness and, and I retreat into my cave and I wheeze. Ah, the curse of being a meme lord. Ah, you know. Well, that should be pretty good. Uh, now it's up to 4,000. Next. Oh, it's... Oh, dude. I, I just need to build some... Bullshit. And we're done. How about... How about an earthquake? Well, you know what? No, I'm so close anyway. I figured I'd just go to another city and do it. Uh, where have I not built everything? Have I built everything here? Uh... I feel I haven't, but... Uh... Yeah, there was something I should do here, like, uh... Was it something here? Check the Burb Island. You guys want another quake? Fine. <laughs> what is my most hated game? Um, oh my god, look at this. <laughs> Good gravy. I'm really close anyway, but, um... What is my most hated game? Um, I don't know. Um, maybe, maybe Brutal Legend because there's not a lot of video games that pays tribute to metal, and uh, the one game that does it is like a fucking frustrating mess to play. <laughs> so, you know, it streams really badly too. Um, I don't know, man, but. Uh, Mm, I just hated the RTS on that, because I... Bleh. Dude, I was watching Jack Black play his own game, Brutal Legend. And... I don't want to dog on Jack Black, but it feels like... It feels like he just woke up one day and be like, I'm gonna be a video game dude. With none of the experience or anything, so he's just kind of like, Whoa, dude! It's Jablinky Games or whatever. And it's just, like, <laughs> a little weird to watch because he's, like, clearly not 100% into what he's doing. He's kind of like, I'm Jack Black. <laughs> you know? <laughs> he's a nice guy. He's a very nice guy. I like Jack Black. Ah, oh, fuck ton, you know? But, you know, I, I feel... I feel... It, 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 it's entertaining for a while with, with Hollywood celebrities playing video games, but their ineptitude at video games sometimes gets a little like, mm, like, is Conan still doing Clueless Gamer? That, that, I think Clueless Gamer was great for a while, but then I'm like, dude, just learn the video games, all right? Just, I, I'm not expecting God gameplay, but dude, you know? <laughs> Master, we have discovered the Master's Magic on the Isle of North Wales. Okay, Nito. Nice. Okay, neat Ellen DeGeneres tries to play Fortnite and it was fucking painful. Um, now I... I don't know why there's moms in my chat, alright? Just be taking care of your kids. Listen. If you want to watch Ellen DeGeneres... You should, you should be... You should be... Looking up... Something else. <laughs> the only the only celebrity show that I fucking love 
of anyone who's played a video game. It's the Tommy Y Show. Everybody hated that show, and I loved it. I loved the Tommy Y Show. Because it was just Tommy being a fucking idiot and, like, walking into walls. He sucked at the games, and people didn't get what they were fucking was doing. Like, people in the comments said, like, Wow, Tommy's so bad at games. Oh, he's a fucking idiot. And I'm like, dude, that's the point. That's the point. And he's like, he's just bizarre because his commentary is, the whole show is that he's abducted by aliens and is forced to play video games. And after the times when he's like walking into walls, he just goes, oh, Hi, alien. Oh, alien, get out of my head. Ah, you know. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. And people hated that show. And I'm like, dude, you, you guys did not deserve this show, all right? <laughs> all right. Let, anyway, let's go finish this game. Went by pretty quick, man. Fuck it. All right, let's do this. Uh. Would you ever seriously consider streaming Team Fortress 2? Sure, man. All right, let's go beat Satan. Here he is. As I said, Satans. Hey. I hate boss rushes, by the way. I think they're a little lacy, honestly, but who am I to say? Okay, so I'm just conserving my starters for the very last thing of the game here, because yeah, it's it's gonna be tough. All right, second boss. You see how I fought the werewolf guy? They're gonna, they're, they're also turning up difficulty now, so this guy is even harder. Shit. Come on. Shit, okay, it's gonna land here, maybe. Fuck, I can't do this. Asshole! Okay. There we go. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. He might transform into werewolf here in a second, so I gotta watch out. And I I'm losing a lot of health here, but um, it's not gonna be that bad. Because if I die, I get my health back. And as long as I pass the stages, that's all you want. Alright. And I have four lives anyway, so... Hey, mummy man. It's not that... All you gotta watch out for is, is the arrow in the wall, really. And that, but... Alright, come on. Fuck. That was bad. That was bad too, but as long as I pass it, that's all that matters! Come on! Oh shit. Oh fuck, there's two ones! Oh, come on! One more! No! Oh! Oh my god. Holy shit, that was fucking fucked. No, 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 man. I still have my health. I might as well die here because I'm not gonna pass this guy. Okay, that's fine. It's really fine. Trust me. Shit. Shit and balls. I'm taking a lot of damage on this guy, but... Oh, I can't get a pattern on him, fuck. Fuck it, whatever. Give me some good RNG here. Oh. Fuck. There we go. Oh my god. Ugh. Joel, you mean the stream who died to pinwheel? <laughs> okay, here we go. It's gonna get tougher and tougher. Here's uh, this guy, and he's tougher this time, by the way. He's actually tougher. He, they, the frames to do this on is decreased. So when he does the, you'll see what I mean. 
with the lace or whatever. Fuck, I'm tense and nervous. And I can't relax. Oh, fuck, dude, this is bad. Might as well take a death here. Oh, shit. Can I pass this? One health! <laughs> One health! Oh, the timing is it's shitty. Okay. Two lives remain. Okay, yeah, just keep going here. Ooh! Okay. They gotta have a slight delay here, because he's... He's steroided up, and he does more DAMAGE! Okay, just keep going with this. Okay. Okay, shoot a laser ball. Oof, bad. Bad timing. Bad number. I got this, man. No problem! Oh, no, I don't! Okay, good, good, good gravy. You really need all the lives here! <laughs> okay, sorry, I'm like super fucking concentrated for this. But it all boils down to the last match. Like, if I can retain another life for this. Because what really remains now is the, the Ice Dragon. And if I can get good RNG on the Stardust here for the Ice Dragon. I might be able to do this. Might. As you can see, I have most of my health still intact, so... But it might be a gamble! Oh, I did it! Oh, shoot! Okay, I'm fine. Alright, here we go. Mama. That's excellent! That's awesome! That's not awesome. Oh, oh, oh! Yes! Yes, 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 yes! One Stardust remains for the boss. Okay, fuck. Okay, good. Come on! Yeah. You sound like you're shitting a pine cone. No, I'm pissing a pine cone at the fucking pace I'm going. Here's the last boss! Okay, first I need to pause here. Oh my god. Focus. Focus. Oh, did I drop some frames too? Okay, that's fine. Whatever. Whatever. Are we back here? Are we back here? Uh, he's back, boys. Oh, we're good. We're back. Okay, so I beat that boss, and uh, we're on the last boss now. Two, two lives, and one, one uh, star storm remains. Um, now, all I gotta do is do this real good. All right. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, Okay, we're actually back, sorry. Alright, anyway, so, here we go. Last boss, two lives, one Stardust. What they do on the very last thing here, they give the Fire Sword. There's a stage earlier in Atios where they gave you a brief Fire Sword. Only power up there you can get it at. Now you give you the Flame Shoot Sword. So, here we go, can I do this? Okay, all I gotta... Oh my god, fuck. Come on! Oh, he, he has fucking Star Storm too, huh? Okay, whoa! Okay, oh my god. Satan! It's him, boys. It's really him. Fuck, I forgot how to do this. Okay, just keep hammering here. Fuck, what is this attack? 
Okay, you gotta like stand where it spawns. Okay, good. Oh shit. No, no thanks. Let's keep on surviving this. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh shit! Oh! No! I can still do this. I can still do this. All I gotta do... Watch out a little bit for this. Keep hammering away from this. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, watch out, watch out, watch out. I got, I got blasted. Alright. Okay, here we go. N figured as well I could just move around here. You know what? Have this! Eat dirt! Oh fuck, that's bad. Here we go. There we go. Watch out for these, watch out for these. I got this, man. This is my fucking fight. Come on, Satan. You ain't so tough. Fuck! Other way, dickhead! Ah. Wah, wah, wah. Okay, watch out. W w keep walking, keep walking, keep walking. Woo! One more, one more! Oh shit. Yes! 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 <laughs> Second fucking try. Ooh! And that's Act Racer. Fuck yeah. Not today, Satan. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't watching do it again. <laughs> Whew. It was tough, man. I didn't think I could do it so quickly, but uh, we did it. You guys, look at my score. <coughs> Sir God Howard, you have been a tireless master. With this, our current duties are complete. We have labored long and hard to help our people become free. I do feel a bit out of regret that they will on uh, that they will on longer need our help. Let's take one last look at each of the thriving towns we have helped develop. I love epilogue shit where like everyone is fine. Guys, how quick did I do this? <laughs> I thought I was be here for nine hours or whatever, but you know. <clears throat> this film or look how the people cleared and cultivated. Four four hours? Really? I thought it was like nine. I guess I did this really quick, huh? <sighs> oh yes, one of the men of Fillmore had the ability to predict the future. His abilities helped save Fillmore. He finally gave his... Maybe I shouldn't give this, like, old man voice to this little, like, angel boy. I'm sure expected at final fate from birth. <laughs> all people are guided by force called destiny. <laughs> no, we're not doing this. Because people are unaware of their destiny. They may not understand all that life has to offer. The man who quietly accepted his destiny, <laughs> I can't, I slip in and out of it, is also the one who becomes a great leader in person. All right. His blood pool. Man, I gotta say, I, I did not expect to like, just beat Act Racer this quickly. Yeah. Just give it your baby Joel voice. A good idea. This is Blood Pool. The lake has already returned to its beautiful blue color. Oh yes, there was an energetic boy named Teddy. Sir Good God Howard and I are supposed to treat all people equally. But since he was such a likable young boy, 
He received much of our attention. Oh yes, do you remember the people of Bloodpool? Had to draw lots to decide who was to be sacrificed. At the time I didn't tell you, but I knew <laughs> whose lot was drawn. It was Teddy. <laughs> In the all along. Kazandura. This is the desert tune, Kasundura. Okay, I'm not doing this voice anymore. Now, there's very little evidence of the once massive desert. Yeah, because I destroyed it all with my god power. You know. I don't know why my voice is so thrashed after all this. I guess the screaming and stuff was, you know. The monsters living in the pyramid were nothing more than reincarnated of the human slaves who built the pyramid. Their spirits remained run pit. Uh, that's just like trailing off again. I, I can't do voices tonight. Listen, uh, listen, while this is going on, read it if you want. All I'm saying is I love Act Racer. This game is great. And I hope you had a lot of fun watching me play this. Um, uh, this game gets difficult at times, but I actually managed to get through it really quickly. Um, I wanted to do this for a while. Act Race is such a great game, and uh, yeah, I um, was a treat to go through this. But I really give this uh, like an illusion that this is easier than it really is, because it's not. If you play this for the first time, you're gonna struggle with it. You know. I'm so impressed by the people who try to build homes in spite of the continuous lava flow. Their leader passed from this life right before your very eyes. <laughs> wow. I am certain he dedicated his whole life to inform informing people of your existence. I hope Eidos would become a beautiful town representative of his great spirit. Yuzo Koshiro did a wonderful job back in the day with this. What else did Yuzo Koshiro do? Streets of Rage. Really? The same guy? Shit. Streets of Rage. Revenge of Shinobi. Interesting. Man, we gotta do a fucking Streets of Rage stream, dude. Come on. And you know what? I'm gonna do something that that not a lot of people do. I'm not gonna play Streets of Rage 2. I'm gonna do the original Streets of Rage, which I I almost kinda like better than the sequel. Cause there's an ending of Streets of Rage 1 where I fucking love. I love the ending of Streets of Rage 1. <laughs> Basically, before the end of the game, the final boss, the big bad, says, Hey, do you wanna join me? Um, and you can say yes or no. Now, if you say yes, he's like, ha ha ha, fool, and he drops you down like a big, like, uh, Mr. Burns, like, hole in the floor, and you go back a level. But, if you're playing with a friend, like, local co-op, the ending is very different. Because, basically, if one of your, one of you says yes, and the other says no, the final boss is replaced with you fighting your local friend and after you're done killing your friend you also kill the boss and you take his seat and you sit on the throne with a wine glass like I am the ultimate evil it's fucking awesome stolen from double dragon maybe but this is also like you can be a bad guy you know so cool so cool but um yeah um Anyway, it, it's a little weird that the the angel is like, do you remember this stuff? I'm like, yeah, this happened like fucking three hours ago, dude. But he's just kind of epiloguing it all, you know. What if the good guy wins the fight? Then he has the same ending as normal, like, good ending from the first. But bad, ending, bad endings are the most fun, come on. Oh, God, this is taking a while, but... uh. 
Joel gets more Alzheimer, y'all, every day. Well, I can't remember fucking every story I tell. <laughs> you know. <sighs> Sir God Howard, why don't we take a look inside the shrine? He has a bit of a meta thing towards the end. Check this out. There's no one here. In former times, people would call for you and ask for your help. As cultures and lands become more advanced, do people tend to forget those who helped them? But then, people may be most happy when not in need of help from their master. <laughs> Or when they have forgotten him? Should we yearn for a time when people will no longer need to ask for our help? The earthquake is coming, boys. <laughs> and that's Act Racer, everybody. The God Game. Bit of a bit of a deep thing at the end. It's true. Religious commentary. Well, everybody, uh, that was Act Racer. I breezed through this game. I don't know how the fuck I did this so quick, but there you go. Great game. Wanted to play this for a while. It is a really cool mixture of two completely different genres. You have a city building simulator, and then you have a mythological adventure thing, you know? Um, that's side scrolling and, and just cool. So uh, it just works for some reason. I, I I don't know. And there he is, Yuzo Koshiro. But yeah, I love Act Racer. It's great. Um, I, I don't like the the sequel too much because they took out the uh, the sim building shit. Because I guess they assume people didn't like that. But that's the fucking best part of the game that it's so unique. You know, a lot of people ask for like an Act Racer three. You know, and well. I don't think it's gonna happen, but there is a Act Racer fan game called Act Razer. Which is an RPG Maker game, in fact. And you, the only reason I know about it is I put Act Racer into How Long to Beat, because it gave me nine hours. But apparently, there's Act Racer and there's an actual game called Act Razer, which is some sort of tribute to this, so I don't know. But Act Racer 3, but this time you're the civilian. I don't know. But, uh,. Yeah. Uh, damn, Joel been streaming for five hours. Abby, total game tonight. You up for Smash or are you done for tonight? I am not streaming Smash tonight. But uh, yeah. Also, by the way, when you complete this game, you get a little bit of a post boss rush if you want it. I guess. All right, well, there we go. Based upon Act Razor. Can a game be based upon itself? <laughs> the Endo. Alright. Didn't the Japanese version have a hard mode? I think you might be referring to what I'm about to do now, maybe. Alright. I think now I gotta reset the game. By the way, you know what's funny? I didn't save once in this game. You're meant to save. I didn't save fucking once. So. If, if this didn't save right, I've, I've just squandered my save file, but pff, whatever. Get the fuck. Get the fuck. <laughs> okay, well, whatever, I beat it. Suck my dick. <laughs> Alright. But you can check out the, 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 there's a boss rush at the end for like, it's called like survival mode or something like that. I don't know what it was called, but it's something like that. But anyway, that is Act Racer. Great fucking game. Love it. It's always fun to play. Um, and if you, I've inspired you to check out Act Racer and maybe give it a try, I say do so. It is really, really fun. And it is a very unique game that totally crosses genres. And it's awesome. Really. But anyway, uh, I'm going to go BRB real quick to show the art, so sit tight, and uh, stuff coming up. You know what? Blah. Oh, by the before I go, let's hear, uh, let's hear smoke one more time.
The feeling is mutual, brother. Mother would be so proud. I mean, my voice is thrash tonight, but Jesus Christ. Two number nines. A number nine large. One with extra dip and a large soda. Alright, but anyway, be right back. Alright, let's take some of the art tonight. From, let's see here. From Dari Arbus. Ooh, mama, this is pretty good. Holy shit. Hey, Joel, been a while since I drew you anything for... Uh, drew anything for you. Glad you had a great vacation. I'm starting my apprenticeship at a tattoo parlor this summer. Damn, all right. So I've been practicing the tattoo style on a different thing. Had a random thought that your Varg Shroom is another contender I could try it on. Uh, so here you go. A tattoo styled Varg Shroom. Hope you like it. That is fucking incredible. Damn. Really nice. Yeah, that'd look great on an arm. But <laughs> I'd say this. Uh, it, it would feel super masturbatory if I got a Varg Shroom on my own arm. Like, I, I would not be cool with that. But uh, there are people with fine sauce tattoos, and it's the ultimate cool commitment that people fucking do. Like, you know, um, it's almost like if you it, like, imagine if Metallica, like, imagine if James Hetfield had a giant Metallica logo on his, like, forehead. Like, it'd just be like, eh. <laughs> you know what I mean? But that's super cool. That is super cool. Uh, incredible i love the style and i love that thick outline look really yeah super cool really really nice i like the little crackled uh, paper texture in the background too but yeah just incredible really super cool art style super nice really <laughs> oh man that is incredible super cool once again damn splendid from 8132F, Joel, you ate my brother. Biggest sook. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> well, listen, I only had one kangaroo hot dog, right? I didn't, like, super voluntarily, like, oh, I need to eat kangaroo. It's like, try it, I guess. But <laughs> they also did this. New friend. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good that's pretty damn good I like that a lot <laughs> uh, that's great I love it I love it great stuff great art style too thank you so much from Kyun I wonder if Mr. Shuver made it out or if he's still wandering the infinity maze also on your American snack stream bacon ass chat to draw you saying I got my diabetes shoes on so you know you drew what now well, I got my diabetes shoes. I'm just fucking. I'm putting this on Twitter. That's my Twitter profile. Got my diabetes shoes on. I'm dying for a fatty brisket. <laughs> oh my god, that's incredible, Kian. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, Mr. Shoe. For Mr. Bean. Damn. Holy shit. I made this. No, I did it. No, mine, mine. <laughs> Holy shit, Twitch chat going nuclear. Damn, that's fucking incredible. It's, it's great art tonight. Jesus, man. Damn. No, seriously, that is incredible. I like that it's a bit of a Zorali cartoon style on my face. And then you have this, like, horrific, you know, Lovecraftian shit going on in the background. It's great. It's really, really nice. Damn, that is incredible. Fucking badass. Fucking badass. <laughs> Ooh, I love it. Seriously killer artwork. Really awesome. Thank you so much. Damn. I made these. Fucking nice. Thank you so much. Steph Gunner. Super good. Scrambles into battle. Yeah, from the, uh, the Smash Brothers stream. I was saying, like, this needs art. And, well, you ask and you receive. <laughs> that's pretty good it's pretty damn good I mean it's nightmare fuel but it's pretty good <laughs> by the way I said this before but um, his true eyeballs is his little you know golden nipples so now you can look at it in a whole different light 
Ah, oh, that's incredible. Thank you so much. Love it. From Ken the Courier. Joel riding the desert brush to hell. I was watching one of Joel's Doom streams. I wanted to draw something. So here you go. Keep it up, Joel. Love your streams. Oh, there we go. I guess it's the Revenant bus stream, but, you know, it's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty damn good. I like my shotgun. It looks something out of worms. <laughs> I like the Kako Demon too. That's pretty damn badass. I like it, as they say. Thank you so much. From Brownie, Happy Easter 2019. Well, I missed it slightly for my own Easter, but um, that's pretty badass. It's got all the streamers in it. Little Easter basket of streams. Tell you what, I'll do an Easter special tomorrow instead, or well, tonight for me when it's, you know, it's morning now for me because it's 6 a.m., but. You know what I'm talking about. Tomorrow's Easter, though. Oh, well, fuck me. Well, fuck me. Then let's do, like, a Jesus Christ chocolate bunny special, you know. Eat some candy or something. Not like I have a fuck ton of American ones, but <laughs> hey. But thank you so much. That's really, really cool. And it's really cool to have all these streamers included and stuff. Very nice. From J. J. Lou. <laughs> he, has a, he has a Pepsi box. Look at that. Uh, speaking of, hang on, wait for it. Oh, wonderful. Badass, thank you so much. You don't see pixel art animations, but uh, hey, look at that. Very nice. From XT Pooper Crapper 2. I swear to God, that's, that's their name. But uh, here's me looking sarcastically to the side. <laughs> yep, it's me, all right. Pretty nice. From Ekitronics. Who's this man? It's Hard Man. What's he saying? Oh, oh, oh my god. It's fucking... Japaleno. Japaleno. I am Hard Man. Japaleno. Japaleno. <laughs> that's amazing. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Oh my god, that's amazing. Japaleno. That's amazing. I like his little rainbow shark too. Oh my god. Uh, let's see here. Adio, if you're trying to do this, it's Fade High Wind on Twitch. Been a while. Uh, thought I'd post some random stuff for a joke as I worked for about two hours to make this. Hope you enjoyed my stream. I have a, and have a great, uh, oops, spam. Uh, uh, kicking ass and act racer. Uh, Meme stream is uh, the more of uh, I guess uh, 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 happy Easter since it's probably no. Enjoy the succulent crunch of the rabbit eggs. Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. So I, I read that super speed, but I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Badass art too. From I, here is regular Joel. I'm soft boiled and hard boiled. Joel says this game is stinky poo poo. <laughs> well, act racer and stinky poo poo, but. <laughs> Hell yeah. Cool art style. I like that. From Vinchvolt. Hard man. Based on that one still from a Bugs Bunny cartoon that's shown up here on their loan. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm going to make I can't believe I have to change my username from Game for Brains to Vinchvolt. Vault for sure. Based on my previous mention of this version. I was ready to make this. I found out. Okay. I'm going to spend this for Vinny streams, but I thought I'd make it clear as well to minimize any confusion. He watches Joel streams and not Vinny's. Okay, sorry for the wall of text, but he's wanted to get that all the way. Okay, yeah, okay, that's, that's neat. If you want to change your name, I don't, I don't mind. <laughs> but that looks cool. Looks cool, man. Uh, there he is, hard man, and my mouth is amazing. <laughs> you know it. From uh, from crying pudding. Oh, I missed this art. That's what it was. Sorry, my bad. Uh, hey everybody, I'm super sorry about the re-upload, but my wimpy little heart sank when I watched the last VOD and Joel and realized Joel had missed my drawing. I just wanted to know that he saw it, if I'm not mistaken. The two people before me also got skipped. Oh, well shit, let me load those up too, in case. No, 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 the other one didn't skip. I swear to God I've seen the other ones. I swear. But anyway, hello again, Joel. It's been about two months since my first drawing, but here's my attempt at redemption. Now featuring your baby blues. Well, there we go. That looks pretty amazing. <laughs> well, shit. It looks like me, man. I don't know what to say. It looks like me with my fingerless skeleton gloves. They better be glow in the dark. 
Oh man, look at that. Looks pretty damn incredible. I like the little sticker on the the hat too, little embroidery patch or whatever you want to call it. But that's pretty damn amazing, man. It's fucking great. Also, I'm surprised you got my little weird uh, freckle dot on my cheek, but that's pretty accurate. Pretty damn accurate. Fucking incredible, actually. <laughs> Very nice shit, man. Joel, do you look like you're ready to start a new metal band? <laughs> yes, our, our band name will be Fuck, and we rant, we rant about math. And we tune down so long the strings that our instruments fall apart. And our DJ just samples a bunch of... Uh, uh, pants and pots clanging together. It's great. We're not we're not new metal. We're poo metal. <laughs> great art. Thank you so much. Cheesy draws. I'm glad you liked our trash American food. Also fit two memes in one. You wanted to someone's draws. So they've been out of the Garfield too. Truly amazing. Also, if you, any of you in chat mentioned how I forgot to draw Joel's mustard, it will actually destroy you. Well, sometimes I'm clean shaven, you know. Stuffing your face as usual. I see Joel. Got my diabetes shoes on. <laughs> Guys, don't make fun of my diabetes. I'm very sensitive. <laughs> oh my god. That art style is great. <laughs> uh, looks really nice. Thank you so much. Really cool art tonight. Fuck. Uh, from Mav. Fuck no, take me back. Hello. Hey, Joel. There's a drawing based on that tweet you made. I'm glad to, he to hear you had a blast in Strat. Despite getting spooked by a huge orb weaver spider. Well, it was, I, I kind of liked it in a way because I'm like, I'm really here now and I want the full experience. I don't want to see like, I didn't see any Australian spiders. I saw an Australian spider and I'm happy I did. You know what I mean? But that's, that's very funny. I like when he goes, hello. <laughs> Pretty nice. From uh, Com Commander Skittles. Hey, Joel, I made a Dal Dalek style after you, Vine Stream, because I know you love them. I sure do. Your streams always makes me crack a smile, even in the darkest of times. Rock on, brother. I appreciate that. Exterminate. Exterminate. Masturbate. Masturbate. <laughs> Great shit. <sighs> um, yeah, I love them. I love Daleks. They're, they're my favorite kind of robot. <laughs> um, very cool. And as everybody's waited for this, here we go from Zoral. Here is the new animation. Um, this was on the board before, and I actually saved the Dropbox link because I wanted to show it off. But here is my first time watching it in full. You know, with with Zoral animating stuff, it's like you know you're gonna get like super excellent shit. I mean, come on. I just hope that the, the VOD doesn't get muted because of this, because you know how cartoons are with Happy Happy Joy Joy. So, if this ends up like being cut on YouTube, and because it, it's bl blocked in Germany, you know why. Uh, but I'm going to still watch it. I'm still going to watch it. Here we go. <laughs> Hello, boys and girls. <laughs> this is... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so glad Zero like isolated the animations because you can find it on the Boru. There's some Easter eggs too. Fuck that, that's great. Um, damn. I mean, seriously, whenever Zoro makes anything, it's like the world stops a little bit on the stream. You're like, oh fuck, you know. Oh, that's great. That is great. That's phenomenal. I mean, as I said, Zero makes fucking platinum gold every time they they go on the board, and this is no exception, you know. Whew. Amazing. Well, you guys need to spread the shit around because it's so amazing. It's so good. Um. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Uh. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Yeah, you know what's funny too? Like Zoral added more frames to this. In the original uh, Happy Happy Joy Joy, there's a lot of like f missing frames when they do this. Wait, happy, happy, joy, joy. this part right here, Zoral added more to it because in the original it's really choppy. They're like, it's almost like a joke how bad the animation is at this point. But they added way more to it. And you know what I like about Zoral? They 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 have this 
complete classic animation style where it's like there's momentum and there's weight to everything you know in between the frames it's it's just it's fantastic you know i don't know how long this took but it's clearly paid off every time being an animator is hard because um there's a video about this on youtube where like it's easier to just make quick content rather than like commit to making something for weeks and months um but zero says fuck that and they're gonna do it you know but uh yeah just amazing and fuck so good so goddamn good but uh yeah if zero's not here i hope they hear this in post or whatever but uh yeah just once again fucking fucking 10 out of 10 he said it was 80 to 90 hours well obviously because this this is a labor of love teeth. <laughs> This is a <laughs> uh, I love the design they got going on for me. Fucking hell. <laughs> ace to ace. Oh, amazing. Wonderful job, Zero. Wonderful fucking job, Zero. God damn. And here again, here's an isolated version with just the butt. Oh, God, look at this. I'm so glad that there's like these short mini gifs on the Boru, or they they are gifs, but from mini stuff from the animations, because uh, they will come and they will come and have good use. Whew. Well, thank you so much for that. Now I like, I'm gonna sleep well tonight after this. <laughs> Amazing job! Thank you so much. From cheesy draws, goes perfect with papercraft. Papercraft Vinny, ten inches tall, hair and helmet can come on and off. Oh, really? What's this? Yo, guess what I made? So I made a Vinny papercraft about a week ago. And I was like, dang, he needs a buddy, so he, he's lonely. So I made a papercraft, Joel. Uh, you can take off the hair and helmet, and he has a little Varchrim buddy to go with him. He's 10 inches tall. And not including, that's fucking that's fucking really cool. Damn. What's, what's fucking art tonight? It's like gold after gold after gold. You know, with, with Daria and just like starting off strong. And, you know, we've had fucking so much. Damn, this is incredible, really crazy or segment tonight but that's amazing damn <laughs> oh that's awesome that's awesome really 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 cool really cool art style too but i love it when people make crafts and stuff like that because you know i don't see that too often but uh very very cool thank you so much if i had a p.o box i'd be like mail mail me a copy but you know i'm a little stingy with that but still very very nice from uh Clazy, this is maybe almost the worst thing I've ever drawn for anyone ever. Remember, angels are just demons that haven't fallen yet. Oh, God, Howard. Oh, God, Howard. When will the madness stop? That's pretty cool, though. <laughs> oh, man. Great shit. From Face Sane. Hey Joel, I'm from Brisbane, and I, w I and I was excited to hear that you were visiting the Gold Coast. Glad to know that you had a nice vacation. Anyway, here's some birds for you, and I don't know if you haven't seen the bin chickens. Oh, I've seen the ibises. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, we filmed the ibises around, but they are great. Also, shoutouts to Aussies and Aussies in chat. Here's me with my suck milkshake, my ass chips. It's pretty damn nice. Oh, I got a Lori Keith on uh, on my Hawaiian shirt there. You know, I actually didn't have a fucking Hawaiian shirt over there. We didn't, I didn't get one, but um, next time. But it was too, too fucking hot anyway that I figured it's just going to like, oof, you know. But that's great. I did really look like this. I had my flip-flops on and uh, yeah, I, it's pretty accurate and the art is incredible. I look a little seagull friend. The ghost goddamn Ibis is the fucking bin chickens. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, they're called. Yeah, yeah. Flip flops in Australia is called thongs. So Brian was saying like, "Hey, let's get some thongs for you." I'm like, "Mama," you know. <laughs> but I'm like, "Oh." oh. <laughs> but uh, yeah, hell yeah, very nice, very very nice. Hell yes, crazy good art too. Like it's fucking the art tonight's been incredible, really. <laughs> The Laurie Keith on the shirt. You correct me up. Oh, yeah. The, at the top, too. Mr. Bird. <laughs> Wonderful. The cheapy boy. 
Oh, thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. That is very, very nice. St. Viticus did this. I was doing facial studies, and this funky little Swede made my page. Dude, that Joel is up to some shit. All right, that Joel is up to some goddamn shit. You know why it's up to some goddamn shit? I'll tell you why. That's why. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's really nice. That is really nice. Just crazy art tonight. Really, like, damn. Wonderful art segment. Just a ton of fucking gold, really. Very, very nice. A lot of art to get through, but uh, I'm done. And after doing an act racer stream, too. All in one thing. But anyway, I want to thank you all for watching the stream. I'm sorry that the Hardcore Friday happened to be on a Saturday, but it just be like that sometimes. Uh, no spooky Saturday, but I will be doing an Easter special tomorrow for you guys. It's tonight for me, because it's morning in Sweden now, but you know what I mean. But thank you once again for watching the stream. I'm going to check those live on Vine Sauce right now, so I'm going to host them. Vinesauce.com, touch.tv, slash team, slash Vine Sauce. Uh, Vinny's playing Sekiro. Direbor's playing some spooky games. And Fred's playing World of Warcraft. I think I'm going to host uh, Direbor. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. Tip of the day is, uh, as I said, when you guys were giving me shit. But, uh, yeah, if you, if you can't afford a GPS for your car, you can get a cheapo app that will do it just the same way. It'll describe where you got to go left, right, up, and whatever. So, uh, check that out. And you guys are going to be like, ah, ha, ha, ha. Ten years ago, you could do that. Well, I just learned about it, and I'm sharing my knowledge. So, bleh. Anyway, peace out, everybody. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.